Hello gamers. Today I'm taking a chance on the Stealth Cruiser. Although instead of calling it the Nisasio, I'm going to call it the Living Geometry. That's it's going to be its name. I was going to go with Long Night of Solace, you know, taking a little insp just well, not inspiration. I was going to say inspiration, just ripping the name from Halo, but unfortunately that doesn't fit. So Living Geometry is what I came up with. I am going to go with advanced content. Might as well. You know, I've had my fun with the base game, but it's time for the vanilla mod, as I like to think of it, to be active. Now, the Stealth Cruiser, I've only beaten the game on normal, so I expect to lose. But that's what you should expect when you're playing on hard difficulty. This is a challenging game. Y you know, it, it is... Oh, that's kind of the whole point, really. It's a roguelike. You're supposed to be expecting a loss. But, when you do get lucky, and you do get a run that works, that's really exciting. It's a very, very different style from other types of games, and it's part of what I really appreciate about it. I mean, the mechanics are very different too. There's a lot that's different about FTL. It's no wonder it's such a smash hit. Now, the Stealth Cruiser does have some things going for it. It's got some pretty solid engine upgrades right off the bat. Titanium Systems casing, you can sell that to help you afford your shields early on. Now, I think this would me be mechanically more interesting if instead of 15% damage negation for your systems, what it did is it could add like an extra point of hit points to each system, so the first point of damage against each system doesn't actually affect its function. Now, that would probably be too strong if it did that, but it is then a, like it is a stealth cruiser with no shields, so maybe it wouldn't be, I don't know. As it is, it's pretty decent. It's got, these are some very efficient weapons. Kind of sucks only having three weapon slots, but it is what it is. Long range scanners are one of the best augmentations you could ask for. So, it, as long as you get those shields, it's actually not too bad. Although in advanced content, you can kind of get away with, I've definitely seen some people get away with not actually getting shields. I don't know how good that really is, it probably isn't. But that's the idea of not getting shields at all and actually beating the game is kind of unthinkable without advanced content. So maybe it's easier in advanced content. We'll find out. You and I will find out together because I have no idea. We're just going to jump right. Oh good, a store. If only that was meaningful. We also start with zero missiles and zero drone parts. Yeah, scrap the machinery, sure. Yeah, see, this is why long range scanners are so good. Not only can you avoid these, which you need to, you know, asteroid field will just demolish you, but you also get to see where there's ships, and where there's ships, there's loot. Of course we're going to attack the ship. Is that even a question? And it's got drones. I should have thought of that. Alright, activate it just at the last second. So we don't get obliterated. Uh-huh. I think we're gonna just do a little bit of this. There we go. Alright, their weapons are completely offline. So we took one point of damage. Drones are very scary. But these weapons are very good. And cloaking is, of course. It just lets you buy that little bit of time. Which kind of works because these have such short cooldowns. Only one power for these weapons is criminally, criminally underpriced. Arguably, dual laser is the best weapon in the game. It's just that you can only start with it. It's not a weapon you can find out in the game. Which is kind of good because it also means enemies don't use it. That would be... That would be a problem. But it's it's deliberately designed to be better than weapons should be. But then that gets limited by the fact that you only have three weapon slots. So if you want to actually use up all your weapon power, you kind of have to up... You, you have to trade it out for something else. You're kind of forced to. Which I guess is an interesting way of balancing that. They give you weapons that are way more efficient than they should be, but because their power requirements are so low, eventually it actually does become a good idea to trade them out for something higher power. 
Assuming you find enough stuff. That's a lot. It's all like clustered together too. Wow. And then there's a couple distress, there's a store. All clustered in the center. Ain't that convenient. See, I'm gonna go here. I I'm gonna try and hit as many of these as I can. As you should, pretty much every run. Uh-huh. Oh, mind control, lovely. Well, let's just see who gets controlled. It's the weapons guy. Awesome. I think ideally what you would do is you would toggle your crew back and forth so he just tanks hits without actually shooting back. But I'm not going to do that. Yeah. So when you activate cloaking, your evasion goes up by 60%, but as it stands, we don't actually have enough evasion to reach 100% during a cloak. Which is unfortunate, but that's just the way it is in the early game. I'm... Yeah, I'm just going to, uh... Actually, I'm going to start with the beam, because that has perfect accuracy. Take out their evasion. Well, it didn't quite, unfortunately. And it's just, if they've only got an iron weapon active, then... Yeah, I'm not concerned about that. You can hit me with your ion if you like. You're dead anyways. And zero damage. Excellent. Decent amount of resources. Let's heal up before we get out of here. Yeah, unfortunately, I didn't really have any... Uh, it wasn't feeling inspired to come up with an interesting crew names or anything like that. You know, there's just... Uh, yeah, I just didn't have that that magical feeling in my soul that told me, yeah, this is what you could do. Unless I named them something stupid like Joker, Batman, and Robin. Oh yeah, now I'm feeling inspired. This is a stupid idea. Oh, shouldn't the Batman be the the uh, captain? Should be Batman, Robin, then Joker. Now, this does seem like it'll probably curse the run. I expect the Joker to do a little trolling. If there's going to be mind control involved, you bet he's going to get targeted first. But we'll see. We'll see. Maybe it'll actually be genius. Maybe this will actually not curse the run. And better to have him targeted than the pilot. I think that's one of the best uses for mind control. On the player's end is targeting the enemy pilot. That just negates their evasion because then, um, even if they have an autopilot system or subsystem upgraded, you you completely tank their evasion because not only do you remove first you remove the effect of the pilot's uh, skill, which is a baseline of plus five, but could be as high as plus ten. But then also, even if you've got this maxed out, you're still losing twenty percent of your evasion, which includes twenty percent of the other guy's bonus. So, yeah, you can definitely... That's one of the issues that, I, in fact, you can run into in the game, is you might have, like, just enough damage to get through the enemy shields, but you don't have enough once you factor in evasion, unless you get astronomically lucky. But if you can... It's like, okay, you didn't get enough guns, fair enough, but you can grab mind control, hit their pilot before you fire off your volley, now your chances of getting something through are actually way better. So a, a weak weapons loadout can be supplemented by mind control for that reason. Obviously, it's also pretty good with boarding tactics. That's not too complicated. Doesn't require much explanation to understand that. Uh-huh. Oh, two heavy lasers. Lovely. And a dr This is the worst. I... I'm not sure it could get any worse than this. Heavy lasers doing massive... They're... They're basically basic... They're just basic lasers if they're hitting shields. But against your hull... Oh no. And it's a beam drone too. This is what I get for naming my crew. Just stupid names. This is... I, I'm being punished. I'm being punished for my hubris. Okay, I should be able to get four here. Yeah, there we go. Okay. The drone is still online. And oxygen is... Yep. Yep. Here we go. 
There it is. Okay, we can do that. Uh huh. The drone system is at least the repair drone is not active, and I did set fire to their ship, so it's not the end of the world. But it will be pretty damn soon. And they're not hitting my weapons with the drone. That's nice. Lovely. Now surely I can do this again. Just get give me four. There's a brief window. There we there we go. And now the repair drone is online, but their combat drone is offline, and they've still got. They've still got... Okay, that, but I do have cloaking, so we can dodge that. Really? That didn't... Okay. You are joking. Are you serious? That didn't do it. We are in purgatory right now. You're... I'm flabbergasted. This is just over. Yeah, we're just going to restart. Wow. We're just going to restart. You know what? I'm not going to name you guys stupid names this time. Clearly that was that was what ruined the run. Nothing else. It was the names, obviously. I was just asking for trouble. Uh Uh-huh. Sure. Let's do that. Okay, we can do this ship, then the quest, then go back to the store. Seems like a plan. Not likely to be able to afford much, but we do have titanium system casing to sell. I'm seeing a pipe beam and a heavy laser. Are these spawning in, like, extra heavy lasers and beam weapons? Because, the, like, on hard mode, it just specifically creates weapon loadouts to counter you? Is that what goes on? I've never heard of anything like that, but I feel like I'm getting pretty unlucky here. Now, we should be able to get... You know what, I'm just going to go for three. There we go. Because that turns off their piloting, because they're both busy repairing stuff. Although the NG is pretty fast at that. And we took a pike beam shot. That's a problem. Uh, do I want a crew? It's probably worth it, compared to the resources I would get from actually just killing them. Getting an extra crew can be... Because that's like 45 scrap to hire a new crew member. Whereas the amount of resources I'm getting this early on. If it was a later sector, then this would not be worth it. Unless he had like... Because later sectors, they also have higher skill levels. So, unless he specifically had some skills I need, I guess. All right, I think a good idea would be to put you on doors. There we go. We'll save that. Oh, look. Lots of things. But if I do that, I'll miss this store. Although, I, again, I'm probably not... Yeah, especially since I just took the crew member. It's not like I have a lot to afford with, so I'll go here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, missiles don't matter too much when you don't have shields anyways. They're just like normal weapons. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, I'm just gonna do this. Oh, we're getting pretty lucky with the fires here. That's good. Nobody's piloting the ship, so their evasion is worthless. Let's make sure that... No, let's turn this off. Oh, well. Yeah, it's delayed because nobody's piloting the damn thing. Unfortunately, the missile did get to fire. And it did basically nothing. Excellent. One point of hull damage. I think that's okay. Moving on. Actually, these are some weird names. You've got Hector Dangler. Dangler. 
Shout out to all the danglers out there. Of course we're not going to give you our crew. What do you think this is? You think this is a video game where I can afford to do that? Maybe if I was playing on easy mode. That arrived faster than me. I was not expecting it to arrive that soon, but I guess I should have. Yeah, I'm not gonna try and min-max that. It takes us just that little bit of time to try and min-max that extra damage, but it's not... It's not actually shutting off anything important, and this fight's not... Yeah, sure, I'll take another crew. Especially if it's a Zoltan. It's a easy. Easy choice. Actually, the perfect place to put you is in cloaking. Because then what you can do, you can do a little trolling. Where when the cloaking is on cooldown, you can just have him walk out of the system. So you effectively get to use the power that he provides twice. So there's a nice little synergy there, you might even say. So yeah, I'm going to hit this quest, then hit this ship, then hit this door. Not going to be able to afford shielding unless I get a lot of stuff. Hmm. I could get another crew member. I could just take the cargo. I'm actually not sure what the... Actually not sure what the potential wards are. Okay, that's decent. I'm not taking... I, from what I remember, I usually take the first option. But that was pretty... That was a nice reward there. Maybe you get, like, double rewards if you take the quest. I'm not sure. I'm actually having a hard time remembering too many details about it. Yeah, of course. Ah, there's hacking. Here it comes. What is it going to hit? It's going to hit our engines. That sucks. Evasion zero. Right, I think we're going to do cloaking now. To delay their cooldowns instead of trying to dodge. Okay, we of course we get it just a bit late. Oh, we even managed to get that evasion. Nice. And they hit ion on the cloaking system anyways. An outstanding move, really. That's a decent dodge. I mean, unfortunately, he's not getting any XP because the hacking is preventing him from doing anything. But still, decent dodge. Okay, let's turn this off. Yep. Let's turn this stuff off. Excellent. Yeah, you can hack that if you like. I don't think it's going to do much, though. Your fate is sealed. Okay, that's a decent amount of resources. Still probably should just save up for shielding. But I might change my mind when I see what's here. 125. This gets me up 40. I am very close to getting shields. Backup battery is really good. Not excited about these weapons. Heavy Ion is... <laughs> that's a joke. That's not a real weapon. It's a fake weapon. That's... No. Heavy Ion. I will slander Heavy Ion till the end of time. It is not a good weapon. And these are looking... Charge Laser Mark II is actually looking okay. I'm not too familiar with the charge weapons. I haven't used them a lot. Ion Charger seems pretty bad. Yeah, I don't think that... Yeah, no doesn't seem very good. This, you get a chart 3 power, and you get a charge time of 5 seconds, up to 4. So there's a lot of flexibility there, depending on your other weapons. Like with the dual lasers, I could charge this up twice, and then have about the same cooldown. Or I could charge it up longer to get a bigger volley, or I could start just spamming it on cooldown every 5 seconds. Like the extra flexibility there does seem pretty good. But it requires 3 power. Hmm. 
Yeah, no. I think it's probably wise. Because I don't... The only thing I have to sell is the system's casing. So it seems wise to wait until I can just afford shields. Because those are really, obviously, pretty important. And as much as backup battery is cool, it's not like I actually have any place to put that power right now. Yeah, okay, hazard there. Not interested. I should be able to, with, with these nebulas here, I should be able to hit here, here, and then go outside, and then come back into the nebula. That should be possible. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Hacking once again. Where's he aiming? Sensors. Sensors. In a nebula. Well, if you insist. Uh-huh. Okay, we got that offline. So now we're just going to get through without any, any damage. Simple as that. The combination of weapons that charge quickly and pretty reliably take out your opponent's weapons, throwing cloaking, is a good combination. Or even if your weapons have a long charge time, then you just want the, the FTL pre-igniter. Oh, jump imminent. I didn't even realize. Yeah, it's trying to escape. Well, it's dead anyways. So that didn't matter. But yeah, you can absolutely get... I think you just get more rewards if you actually attack it, don't you? Yeah, I could stealthily. I could avoid combat. But, uh, no, I don't want to. Well, that's a beam weapon. It's not like we can dodge that, so we might as well just cloak now. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you get more rewards if you fight it rather than cloaking. It is nice to have the option to avoid combat in case you're at like five hull. But it's not necessary. And yeah, I'm I'm like four scrap short of being able to afford a shield system. And now I just gotta find another shop. You know, the hard part of the game. I can even sell a bunch of missiles. There we go. I think we're looking pretty good as long as we find a shop and don't die. I mean, it's a big bar to clear, to be fair. That is a, a very large bar. Once again... Ah, uh, really? This is going to be so... Uh, this is not going to be good. Is that it? Oh, no, there's that more of you, okay. Well, I mean, this is just going to be a little waste of time. A little time waster. Who am I going to feed the kills to? It's probably not Lauren. I mean, he is the dangler. And he's got the weapon skill. He can't outdangle the dangler. There we go. Swap him like that. So you should kill that first. Alright, and we pull you guys out. You should be able to... Oh, no, no, no. Get out of there. Yeah, there we go. And you can... Yeah, there we go. That should be three? Somebody else got a kill. Or was there only three in the first... Yeah, there was only three. Never mind. It was not the full barding party of four. Not quite. Alright, everybody get... Sh lick your wounds. Put some band-aids on it. Get a little ibuprofen. A little Advil. You'll be fine. Stop crying about it. You know what you signed up for when you got on this damn ship. Well, I mean, except for this, the you know the 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 guy who we freed from the, yeah, you know, except for him, he probably didn't know what he was getting into. But everybody else, you knew. Well, I mean, both of you actually came from slaver ships, so you probably didn't know what you were getting into. But I mean, sucks to suck, I guess. Oh, that's it. Okay. Well, well, well. Mantis controlled, pirate controlled. 
Yeah, the sector map just looks really cool. I've always liked this this uh, this map. It just looks cool, even though you don't actually spend a lot of time looking at it. Let's see. I'm not sure there's quantitatively too much of a difference. Mantis will probably involve more boarding, just because it's the Mantis, but other than that, is there anything I'd really consider? I guess I'll go here and then... Like, this, this, this one step ahead is all green anyways. It's not like it matters that much. Yeah, let's just go to Pirate Control. Yeah, we're going to avoid that. Now, Pulsar. That's some advanced edition content. Kind of a cool hazard, but can also be really annoying. Depending on the circumstances. Let's see what we've got. Once again, this is going to be easy. Okay. Can I wait long enough? No, I can't. Unfortunate. Delaying to the last second there is probably a bad idea. Let's fire off the beam first. And that turned off the one that's not active. But we did manage to actually get off all our weapons before cloaking in. Because I do know that uh, your cloaking duration gets hurt by firing weapons while you're cloaked. I do know that. But we did manage to actually do enough damage first. Okay. Now I just need to find a store. I know it's a pirate sector. Stores aren't exactly plentiful. But there's gonna be... There's gonna be one somewhere. Oh, they've got cloaking and shields too! That's so cool. Teach me your ways. Or just, you know, hand over the shielding. Unfortunately, you can't get systems as a reward for combat. You have to get it from a store. You... 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 How could you? This is blasphemy. Double miss? Ain't no... I guess it didn't matter. Alright, go... No, you can go repair that. For real? We're... And then cloaking. I think we're just gonna leave. I'm starting to think that the best thing to do here would be just to leave. It's looking real tempting right now. Okay, we did get a resist there. That's nice. It's a little fire. No big deal. We'll fire off one more. Alright, we'll dodge that. We failed to dodge that. RNG is not looking good here. We'll try one more here. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm only getting three here. Yeah, if I want to hit... I guess then it's a question of which systems do I want to hit. Which can I hit? I guess engines, cloaking, and... Yeah, engines, cloaking, and weapons looks good. They're doing too much damage to me. And now all their engines... Okay, excellent. So damage their cloaking, which apparently is tier 2. It's not even tier 1 cloaking. We've got their weapons offline. Mantis repair is not going to be great. They're not even dodging right now by the looks of it. So I should be able to... And of course, they've got that extra layer of... They've got the extra system layer to protect their shielding, of course. So that was I should have waited until Meaning Me was off cooldown. <sighs> they really are a pain. Breach Bomb Mark II? That's a pretty good haul. Alright. That was pretty good. Uh, we took a lot more damage than I'd like, but the reward was actually pretty nice. This changes everything. It doesn't change everything, but having... I mean, now I'm a little wondering if it was really a good idea to sell all those missiles, but you don't need too many of these. You know, put two power into it. Three damage can take off two layers from a system. So that can take off two shield layers, and then it, I think it's a 100% breach chance. So not only does it take off those layers, they also can't repair it immediately because of the breach. That's really good. 
So we've at least got a competent weapons package. For the mid-game region. Yeah, competent. That would be a good word for it. Hmm. Hmm. Because even if I do this, I can sell titanium system casing, and then I'm only 12 points short of getting shielding anyways. And now I have the option. I can take that out. Yeah, I can take that out. I can take out the oxygen power, and then I can move you over to the oxygen if I really need to. So I can double up. Yeah, that seems like a good plan. I like this plan. That's assuming, of course, that I need the breach. Which, against the lightly defended ships, probably not. So I want to try and pick spots that have as many connections as possible so I can f hunt down these shops. So I guess I'm going to go topside. I want to try and get all of these if I can. So that would be a good spot. But I also want to hit here. So I guess... I'll go this way, hit here, and then there and there. I really want to hunt down the shops, because I do not want to be going through the later sectors without any shields. Fire. Fire. Fire would be bad. Let's uh, preemptively get some oxygen out of it. Let's preemptively do that, so we don't... Uh, yeah, look at that. That was a... Wait, does this actually do damage too? I thought it just started fires. Okay. I'm... Oh! I bet the weapon's in the wrong order. That's what's going on. I was confused why I was not just targeting the thing. Oh, it also does system damage. Okay. Was it doing hull damage though? I thought this just started fire. Huh, I must be mistaken. Maybe it got buffed? Who knows? Well, this is over anyways. It's not too much to be worried about. Let me go repair that. And then let's get out of here. Yep, that is enough that we can afford shields if we can find a shop. We have not. As much as I'd like to take that, I think I have to I have to get going. I need to explore this area to find a shop before the rebels catch up to me, and jumping that way, I won't be able to do it. it sucks, but it is what it is. I think my priority here is getting the shields. Hail them. Unfortunately, I think that's the opposite of what I want right now. All right, that's a good that's a good choice. Let's go there. Yeah, of course they're not giving you. And Zoltan shielding is kind of the worst, though. Kind of just the worst. Yeah, let's get that breach missile online. Doesn't really matter where we shoot, we're just hitting the shields anyways. A breach missile, breach bomb. Well, you can stay there until that finishes. Now we move you over here, turn oxygen back on. Did it just... Okay, no, it hit. Excellent. It's one of the lasers that missed. Let's get some weapons offline. Alright, that was a pointless shot. Excellent. We can hit that again. Yeah, of course he repairs it almost immediately, but... I mean, I'm just farming free crew here. I'm getting all this crew for free. 
just by attacking all these slavers. It's, uh, it's uh, not bad. I mean, you can operate the sensors. Shop? No shop. All right. But we can explore basically the entire sector by hitting these three jump points. The only one I'm going to miss is this one, but there should be at least two shops in this sector. So, even if I miss this point, it shouldn't matter unless they all spawn, like, back here. That would be annoying. But it is possible. Annoying or not. It is still possible. Man, there's a lot of slavers and people asking for toll payments, and, I'll, and none of that is happening. Actually, having having perfect knowledge of when their weapons are charging is probably really useful when you have cloaking. I think that's fair to say. Actually, I should be doing this now, shouldn't I? Yeah, that seems like a good idea. Alright, fix that. Let's get that back online. And we're going to hit the same spot. Take off your weapons and down, power down your cloaking. A couple of fires is a good... That's good. It's very helpful. Breach the shields. Hit the weapons again. Or not. Okay, let's take that out of oxygen. Got it just in time. Couldn't have, couldn't have coordinated that better if you tried. Yeah, they're, they're trying desperately to repair the cloaking, which is an interesting choice, to say the least. I'm just going to hit that again, though. Yeah, I don't think you're getting anywhere with your engines completely offline. I mean, you can certainly try. I've certainly tried. But I don't think it works out. Sorry. Alright, that's a decent amount of reward. Anybody injured? No. Okay, we can get out of here. Store. Looks like RNG is not punishing me today. Well, at least not after the first one. 152 automated turret satellites will tear you to shreds. Yeah, um... I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. That's all there is to it. Of course. Of course. It just... Yeah. No, of course. Naturally. This is so cool. How that... How it doesn't have... Doesn't even have a page two. Wow. Epic. I kind of want to take the automated reloader. But I don't think... Yeah, that would be a problem. I guess I'll just buy fuel and repairs again. Try to stay above 85? Yeah. It's because then I can sell this and go exactly 125. If I find another shop, which would be ideal. Just give me, give me a shop with shields, please. And mind control is a good start. Actually, cloaking is kind of the one that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter too much. Out of all the ones you could attack, that would be—that's the one I'm like the least mad about. All right, let's turn. Yeah, we'll go straight for the weapons. All right, two fires. Excellent. you over here, you'll put you over here. Yeah, they got mind control instead of cloaking this time. That's what it looks like. Which is, honestly, that's kind of better. For me, anyways. For them, it's a mistake. Actually, they can't afford... Really? Are both their weapons offline? But it's orange, not red. They should have enough power for one. It's a little weird. Or maybe they just repaired it. No, it's orange, and it's still... That's odd. 
They have both of them off. They should, if it's orange, they should have at least one power they could put into the... Uh, maybe what's happening is when they take damage, they, they're shuffling their weapon priorities, and because the because it has it's an ammo-based weapon, there's something going on there with the AI. That's a little weird. But I'll take it, you know? It's making my life a little easier. Alright, cool. Yeah, I don't think we're finding another shop. How very unfortunate. Maybe worth actually just getting some upgrades somewhere, like cloaking. Although, if there ends up being... The next sector is green, so if there ends up being a shop right at the start, I would regret that so much. So, I'm not going to do that. Actually, I didn't heal you, did I? Let me go fix that. Although, cloaking would be real nice right now. Alright, we got him before... I mean, I say that, but we still got him before they actually got to do anything. So I don't know what I'm complaining about. So we, we should be able to reach across there. Yeah. Easy. Drones are just fodder. Tossing that last little bit of damage. Awesome. It's another one down. Now, if that last spot in the corner ends up being a shop, that would be phenomenal. No, but it is... It's at least worth going to. Alright, what have we got here? Well, I guess we're not using our engines to dodge anything. That's unfortunate. Let's start with cloaking right away. Looks like we've got a boarding action. Yeah, with evasion only going up to 70%. Yeah, no thanks. Okay, hold on. We need to get you out of the way because you are... Your skin is made of tissue paper. Alright, we missed. That's a good start. Can we get four? Is that possible? Yeah, I'm not gonna fin I'm not gonna finesse that too hard. I'll just hit like that. They've got their shields, piloting, and weapons all conveniently located right next to each other. Alright, I'll expect to take some damage from this. Right in the doors. Actually, it doesn't matter too much. You can repair that. Yeah, this is, uh, this is over. We took two hull damage, but that's it. Awesome. All right, I've got to actually remember to shoot. I was just watching them burn and, you know, get a little excited. Just want to watch, some people just want to watch ships burn. You know what I'm saying? Of course we're going to aid the civilian ship. What do you think this is? A game where I wouldn't do that? Nonsense. Uh, I guess I'll have it on just in case. I don't think I need it though. Yeah, let's not risk those 90%. There's 10% chance that they, they will hit me. Might as well use, just use it now and disable their weapons. Like so. Yeah, that's a much safer option instead of taking that 10% chance to get hit. I don't think I'll be needing that, so we can turn that off. Just hit the same place again, and that's over. See, it's a very nice weapons package. Pretty effective in the early game. Not as much as the Red Tails, but still pretty good. Uh-huh. I got a free drone that I don't want. But I can sell that for like 15. So it's now 55 between these two if I sell them. So I could go down to... Let's see, let's do a little... 70. Alright. That leaves me a little more room for upgrades. NG Controlled or NG Homeworlds? Well, NG Homeworlds gives me the quest to unlock the Stealth Cruiser. 
and then I would be choosing between purple and red. Honestly, I don't really like purple sectors just in general. I'd rather make a choice between a green and a red. Although, well, realistically, I'm probably just going to choose the red anyways. Is it strictly better to go to the homeworlds or not? I actually don't know that. It does feel like a bit of a waste to not do that, though. If the opportunity presents itself, might as well. Alright, so we're going to get some upgrades. Is that it? Piloting is pretty important, considering this. Uh, we're relying so much on evasion. And that will put me down to 83. That's a good place. That is a good place to be. Actually, the extra power upgrade wasn't super necessary just because of this, but I do need to... Eh. Yeah. Yeah. It's alright. Again, same event. And of course, cloaking, naturally. But it's a short, all right, theirs is shorter than mine. I win, I have better cloaking. Loser. Did you really think you could take me on? I'm Captain, Captain Batman. All right, let's see. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna hit them here. I should actually be able, I might be able to get four with the mini beam. I really wanna prioritize weapons. This, this, this ship looks dangerous enough with those weapons that I think, think it's gonna be worth it to try and squeeze out as much damage here as I can. Come on, there's gotta be it's it's one of those cases where it's there we go I think that was it let me try again just to make sure just to be sure that I actually why did I do that I should have just left it it was fine my brain's like no 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 you've got to do it again but why why brain why would you do this to me I just did it and I'm also going to use auto fire so that I don't have to reselect it the next time. Seriously? Is this impossible? Because I, I'm pretty sure I just did this. There we go. Hold on. There we go. That did not... Did that fire before the sh it actually did any shield damage? That's annoying. Alright, well I'm going to use the breach there actually. Okay, we got a resist, we got a miss. Not bad. Okay. All right. Let's pull out that oxygen power. Okay, the beam is firing because of course it is. So that's gonna be a waste. Oh, I don't even need to use cloaking because I've already got him. Nice. Okay, we'll fire there. There we go. That's nice. And now we should just be able to sit here and win. Actually, they don't have... Hold on, we might be able to kill the crew here. They don't have a... Yeah. And then if I do that, yeah, and their 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 cloning bay was offline. Nice. Heavy laser mark two. That's uh, that's kind of comparable to a mini beam. That's probably better than the mini beam, isn't it? It's got a shorter cooldown, the same amount of power. It can't hit like three rooms in the way the mini beam does, but getting two damage onto one system is usually going to be better along with having, like, breach chance in addition to fire chance. 
Yeah, it's probably better overall. Let's go with that. I like it. Store. Now this time you'd better give me the damn shields. There we are. Just gotta sell a few things. Starting with you. Let's sell that. Uh huh. Now we've got that. Prevents enemy defense drones from targeting anything. That is pretty good. If you if you combine this with hacking, or if you have, I mean, I don't have a. I've got already bombs which bypass defense drones anyways. But I may find myself picking up hacking. Although, yeah, I can't afford that anyway, so it's not really worth talking about too much. Yeah, I don't think I'm buying any of these. Really, I should just be buying, like, fuel and repairs at this point. Sell that. Advanced FTL navigation, emergency... Yeah, no, I'm not... I'm not gonna bother with those. Just buy that. There we go. I'm gonna need a little more power. I can double... I can do this. I can take engine power out, depending on what the situation calls for. But the first thing I'm going to want to upgrade is power now. I forgot to heal Ferris. That's fine. I'm sure he's fine. You know, he he might complain about it. See, look, they even did me the favor of disabling my engines so that I can do this. Isn't that cool? Thanks, guys. And yeah, now we're starting to see stronger shields here. So we're going to set up that breach. off auto fire now okay that's offline and now we can fire the heavy laser right to the weapons yeah see just like that i'd rather have this than a mini beam it's going to provide more value yeah and it's on fire too nice uh try spending another missile to go for a kill here on the crew if I disable this and then use breach missiles or breach bombs to just attack them but I'm pretty low on missiles and I need those so I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna kill awesome power okay we're not quite as starved now Look at that, we've got a shiny set of shields. And that's an embarrassing weapon package. What do you think this is? Sector 1? <laughs> Look at this guy. He thinks it's Sector 1. Oh, they're, they're even going to send over the NG to do the, the boarding action. That's adorable. I probably should have... Uh, okay, well, we missed a lot, so it actually didn't matter what I targeted there. You can help the pilot. Okay. Alright, we did it. No problem. Oh, he teleported away, too. Just in time. Not that it's going to save you. Seriously? What's their evasion? They must have pretty solid evasion if they're dodging like this. Okay, that is not where you... That is not where you want to be right now. I promise you. Yeah, I can actually attack their shield. Seven missiles? Five fuel? Please. You shouldn't have. That's a gift. All right, and you guys need to heal before we get out of here. Mm-hmm. I mean, Turing's a nice reference to Alan Turing. I definitely recognize some of the references. Actually, funny, one of the names that's generated in this game is actually just the name of my uncle. And I don't know. I, that must be a coincidence. 
just someone else has the same name as my uncle. And there must have been like a contributor or something. Because I think people who... I think that there's like... Actually, I have no idea. But that sounds right. It sounds like this game probably had some kind of like Kickstarter where backers could have their names in the game. And that's what I assume happened there. But it's quite the coincidence. Well, that is a good deal on the fuel. I have a lot of fuel as is, but... This should mean I don't really need to buy more for the rest of the game. You know, in theory. Oh, free stuff. Awesome, I love free stuff. It's free stuff time. Everybody do the free stuff dance. Otherwise known as the poor people dance. Because, I mean, if you're rich, you don't need free stuff. At least I assume. Okay, so you're charging that up. You've got that. What exactly am I doing? Yeah, I should have this charging right away. I think I want to dodge whatever they do with this. Are they going to charge it up fully? Looks like it. Yeah, I don't see myself really... I'm going to struggle with this. Alright, now I dodge that. Uh-huh. Wait for the breach bomb. All right. We fire the lasers. And we hit him even when he cloaked. Excellent. That's a good outcome. We move you over to shields. Speaking of, we should probably have someone actually manning those. And it shouldn't be you. All right, there we go. Oh, they are all NG, so they're going to repair these pretty quick. Although, with just that weapon setup, I guess it's not too scary. Oh, well, it's completely online now, but they do seem to like charging this thing fully. Which, if that's the case... No, I'm not going to accept surrender. Screw you. We're killing you. Don't you understand that? I thought that was obvious. Uh, they did manage to repair the shields. Mm. Yeah, I guess I'll use another breach. Good night. All right, decent amount of rewards. Okay, so we've got that covered. Let's take that out. Ah, uh, hmm. I could just do that. Yeah. Let's just do that. We can power down the engines a bit, get a second shield layer. Now, the thing is... I don't think I can actually get all of those and get back to this exit in time. I do have decent defenses now with four shields and four in engines, so I can kind of end with cloaking. So even if I have to dive through the, the rebel fleet, that's probably not the end of the world, to be honest. Get the right combination of traits. Yeah, yeah, we'll fight you. Mind control? Sure. Go for it. See if I care. You don't even have shields. Look at this guy. Look at this fool. And of course I end up missing. Yeah, but that's not going to do anything. Okay. Dodge that. Awesome. Well, actually, I want to switch you guys so that you end up... Nope, that's not what I want. 
You come back. There we go. Switch you guys so you can tank. Let's fire that first. There we go. Everybody back to your stations. Right, your station is here now. Let's update that. Actually, you can repair that. You can head back over there. We're going to get you healing before we get out of here. Just do things a little bit faster. Excellent. Okay. You need a little healing. Let's see. No, nothing exciting there. A little more power. Alright. That's looking pretty good. The run is alive. It's alive and well. Uh-huh. Okay, so it was not an ambush. They, they did actually need help. Weapons package is pretty light. You know what? As a matter of fact, that looks a lot... You know, actually, why don't I save these as positions so I can get... It looks a lot like a basic laser. I don't think they can actually get through our shields. Yeah. So, in that case, instead of burning through missiles on this one, we can do this the slow way. And just hope to get lucky. Hey, we'll deplete oxygen in there. He'll give up. Yep. Right, let's try getting lucky again. There we go. Alright, we want you tanking. We want you not doing that. Okay, shield's off. Awesome. They're not going to fight to the death, which is interesting because they have a cloning facility. You would assume that with a cloning facility, they would want to fight to the death. But no. How interesting. I think I can kill them. So that's one down. Alright, you're, you're stunned and dying to the fire. That's awesome. Alright, now you're going to run away. It does cost me a missile here, but it's probably worth it. Oh wait, no, I've still got a... Oh, that's right. I forgot. I've got to disable the cloning bay, too. I, I, that already escaped my mind. So yeah, that was... That was a, probably a waste of a missile. Then again... The fires are spreading. I'm gonna commit to it. It's breached. You're not repairing that. No way. The only concern would be if he dies... If the fire actually destroys the ship before killing off the crew. Which is definitely possible. So I ended up spending three missiles instead of the one that I originally planned on. Alright. That's good. I like that. Actually, you can go here. You can go here. There we go. And then the ship's going to explode in a second. Yeah. It would be funny if you got even more scrap at that point. Although it would probably be a little too good if you did that. All right, let's uh, repair your bodies. It's actually looking really good. I mean, it's only the third sector, but things are going well so far. So you... Actually, you don't have any shield skill anyway, so there's no point. Like, this is going to be... There we go. That's going to be the strategy. That right there. Yeah, and I can just get two more bars of power. Do something like this. Pull it out of oxygen, put it there if I need to. And then have you move into shields to double up on your power. That's a good strategy. I like that strategy. Ah. Uh, you know, asteroids are really helpful for getting rid of Zoltan shields quickly. Get a little more evasion, that's nice. Mm -hmm. 
Let's just dodge all of that. No thanks. Don't want to deal with that. Alright, let's turn Dunn off. Oh, we missed. Okay, that's good. That's a good shot. There is still an NG, but with these asteroids helping us, it should be a lot easier. Augment, backup DNA bank. Well, I don't have a clone bank. But it is an augmentation. You can sell that for a decent amount. Alright, the shields are back. That's good, that's good. Let's get out of here. Yeah, I do have to dive through. But with four, le four levels in engines, four levels in shields, two levels in cloaking, we should be fine. Ah, it's a trap. We've been tricked. And they're immediately going to go for weapons. So yeah, that's a problem. That is a problem. Ah, yes, of course. And they've got three anti-combat drones. Just in case you were using drones. And you thought you had a chance? Nah. Some of these NG ships can be pretty annoying. Because they'll have weapons packages that aren't very threatening. But they'll have... Just a ton of defensive drones, so you, you need... So if you, if you rely on, like, drones or missiles, it's just like, well... Sucks to suck, I guess. Lamal, you thought you could kill us? Or that we would kill you and put you out of your misery? Ain't happening. Yeah, this is gonna... Alright. It's gonna be super fun. It is just a basic defense drone, though. So that... And their repairs... They're all mantises, so it's not like they can repair quickly. I think I'd rather get this over quicker. No, I should be fine just doing this. It's not like your weapons package is threatening. I mean, double miss is a bit annoying, though. I gotta have you guys come back in. Actually, hold on. You do the least damage because you're NG, so might as well have you tank. I mean, part of the downside of using cloaking to dodge stuff is that dodges during cloaking don't count towards your crew's experience. So there is a little bit of a downside to consider there. Don't turn that back on, please. I don't know why that... Oh, it probably went off because I moved. Yeah, you. That can be a little annoying, because if you don't pay attention to that, moving your Zoltan around can cause you to lose power in something kind of important. Really? Alright. If you insist. There we go. Yeah. The heavy laser has a decent fire chance combined with... Oh, they actually did some damage. Wow. Wow has a decent fire chance combined with decent breach chance. So there's always a decent chance that it actually does something. Alright, let's turn that off. Let's turn that off. Yeah, this is looking Jover for you, my friend. It is Joever. Alright, let's move on. Dangler's a little hurt, again. Oh, uh, do I want a Mantis? Honestly? Five damage for 32, I'll take that. No, let's, uh, let's not do that. Let's just send you. There's no reason to take the uh, the combat risk there, because I don't think I need that extra crew. I've already hit seven. And chances are I'll find some other event that gives me an opportunity to get that last eighth crew member. So... Okay. Let's get a little more engine power. So we can get out of there a little bit faster. Alright. It's time. 
Yeah, we're not attacking that. No way. Ain't not... <laughs> ain't happening. We probably could get through their shields with the bomb, but when you factor in that weapons package and... That stuff in the background, and the anti-ship batteries, yeah, I'd rather not. Uh-huh. Okay, this is looking good. 99%. We love to see that 99%. And we're out of here. No damage taken. And it looks like the ASB missed anyways. Nice. Looking pretty good. We are looking pretty good. Yeah, I'll probably start with the nebula here. Actually, could I go the other way? No, that would not work. Probably skip that one, go with that nebula, go with those two. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking about. One fuel for four missiles? Yes. I've got it, and I've got a lot of fuel. And I need missiles. Mm -hmm. it, yeah, these things, when they ha they show up in asteroid fields with no shields, it is a very silly idea. I don't know what you... Who sent this here? I guess whoever is in charge of this drone is probably just trying to get fired, to be honest. I don't know why you would... Like, really, who do they have in command in this sector? Are we going to get hit by that? No. But it, it, it didn't even shoot at us. So the, the asteroids themselves almost got through two shield layers and 40%. Oh no, it did hit us with an ion. Okay. But still. That was close. Almost took a little bit of extra damage. Uh, that's the fire drone. Oh, that's right. The drone earlier. That was just the beam drone mark II, wasn't it? It wasn't a fire drone. I got confused. And it's a decent weapons package, but we have shields now. We're not scared of you. Here, get some power to oxygen. Getting, we're farming that evasion. Let's go. It's another six percent that's sitting on the table. Now yeah, we want to hit weapons because they got that bomb. Yeah, let's turn that off. The drones by themselves are not going to be threatening. Just need to dodge a couple more. We're at 42%. Let the drones keep shooting. It's a good opportunity. Yeah, there we go. One more. Boom. 45%. That is some solid evasion. Twenty-eight fuel, thirteen missiles. We don't even have to use breach missiles most of the or breach bomb most of the time. It's a pretty good position. And there's a store. And we can sell that. All right. I really like this. You know, here, here. No, I can't. I can't reach that one. I guess I'll go here and then here and then kind of circle back around. Yeah, let's do that. You want to try and farm scrap before reaching the store. This is very not threatening. Guys, you gotta upgrade your weapons a little bit. Come on. Keep up. You're going too slow. I say as I get hit. Probably should be using the cloaking a little bit more. Instead of... Accidentally shot their drone. It is kind of cool how that sometimes happens. Where the, f the drones physically actually occupy space. So you can in fact, shoot them. It's a nice little touch. Start with that. There we go. Evasion offline. Let's turn that off. Yeah, and then just those two is not going to harm us. 
It's only if they hit both of those, and then the drone fires. Oh wow, did those shots actually collide midair? That's pretty rare. Incredible. Okay, so I could go here, and then go to the store, and then go here. That's actually a really good loop. I like that. Uh-huh. Uh, it doesn't say the cooldown in here, unfortunate. Oh, everybody back to your stations, please. I want to see those weapon charges. That's helpful. <sighs> unfortunate. 105% dodge? I think we're good. I think that's good. Come on. Really? You're gonna do me like that? Two misses out of three shots. Twice in a row. Uh, don't like that. So that's gonna fire before the bomb goes off. Yeah, and then it's gonna keep the other one online. And it does three damage. That's a big missile. That's a big boy missile. Let's, turn, let's open these so the oxygen doesn't drain as fast. What is your evasion? This is why, in theory, you only need three shots to actually get through shields, but in practice, if they've got two shield players and you've only got three shots, that's not going to be very reliable with that once you factor in evasion. Actually, this is where the, having the mini-beam is a little bit better, because that it ignores evasion, so that perfect accuracy really comes in handy. Alright, so now they can't dodge. Awesome. Alright, let's get that back offline. I think we're good. We're golden. Boom. I wonder what happens if you jump before getting the reward. I think you just don't get the reward. That's kind of funny. That's a funny little option. Mm-hmm. I already have long-range scanners. So I can sell you that. Oh, let's see. Drone control. Mind control. Clone bay. Well, considering what I talked about with this negating a pet enemy evasion, that's probably a good choice. Charge laser. Yeah, it's just kind of okay. It's worse than the dual lasers. Extra power, and it takes twice. It takes 12 seconds to fire two shots instead of. You do get the extra flexibility of being able to shoot, of being able to shoot a like a single shot in just six seconds. But yeah, that's not going to be worth it here. Yeah, I think we just go mind control. Man, that is expensive for what that does. That's really expensive. Why is that so? Exp this, should, this should be like 20 scrap. Unless it has some special options that are really good that I just don't know about. I think mind control is the way to go. Help take down enemy evasion. Repair up to there. Don't really need to worry about fuel. 29 is quite good. May end up needing to worry about missiles, but... We could probably save missiles just by upgrading our power here so we can use the mind control more reliably. Actually, we can now we can really squeeze a lot of juice out of this guy because we can we can have him in the cloaking or we can have him do mind control and then when that runs out, switch over to cloaking and then do that and then move somewhere else. Like, you can get a lot of juice out of this green man. Just gotta squeeze him hard enough. No, that's not blood. No, this just... Look, they... You're not hurting him. Just trust me. Just squeeze the green man. It's fine. That's not screaming. It's just they sing like that. That's what they sound like when they're singing. Look, they're aliens, right? Don't be judgmental. Yeah, I think this is good. Is there anything else I can upgrade for 20? No. Of course not. 
probably want to upgrade doors soon. And get a third shield. Uh, yeah, third shield layer, then max out engines. Maybe upgrade cloaking further. I think mind control plus our current weapons package is actually pretty good. Because this will almost... Like, I, I assume most enemies are going to have some level of autopilot. But even with that, if you time the mind control along with the weapons firing, their evasion is going to be almost nothing. So that will set up for a breach, which then takes down the shields. And then you can fire off all the lasers and you should be able to get some damage in there. This might be good enough, honestly. And I can, instead of investing in weapons, I can invest in defense and buying missiles because I'm going to need those. Yeah, I can afford to give you fuel. For some sector data. Meh. Okay, this is a pretty annoying structure. I guess I'll go here, 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 here. Or maybe I could go there, there. There, to the store, then back there. We'll see. Either way, I'm going here first. Uh-huh. You'll see the safer world we provide. Well, you won't, but you get the point. Are you sure about that? Okay, let's get you out. Let's get you in. There we go. And while you're here, might as well get you in there. So let's see how well this works. I'm going to actually not fire off the breach, instead going to lead with that. To negate their evasion as much as possible. Yeah, that worked. And then he's going to attack the piloting, and nobody's going to come stop him because they're busy repairing. Actually didn't even need to use the cloak in there. Boom. And there's a breach. Yeah, and he does... Even basic mind control, they do enough damage. They do enough damage to do one point of damage to the system with just basic mind control. So that means their evasion is completely offline, and they are just screwed. Powering up your FTL, are ya? Yeah, it really doesn't look like it. It's hard to tell when all your... Everything is offline for you. Uh, no. I'm not going to accept that surrender. If you want to live, try being a little richer when you offer me something. Alright, that was good. I think that was a good proof of concept. Mind Control does, in fact, do a pretty solid job negating evasion. 50 scrap. I could grab that, but there is a... Door. I think the safer route would be to do this. Yeah, because that gives me the option to to cut the trip short, whereas the other route doesn't give me that option. At least not in, not as practical. Uh huh. Oh, did not see that. Let's, uh, delay you for a few. So, if we start with... Yeah, that worked. Okay. Again, it's an ion stunner, which is going to be a bit of a pain. Let's open these doors to try and keep the oxygen flowing in. This is where having upgraded, uh... Upgraded oxygen can be pretty useful. I think if you have it fully upgraded, it, it can it can actually fill the oxygen even when there's a breach. That's how good it gets. Whereas tier two, I believe, is neutral. Okay, and then it hits this room, of course. Awesome. Yeah, we, we managed to do that while the mind control is still active. That's how short the cooldown on these weapons are. 
It's perfect. Oh, and yeah, and it stuns them, and then it leaves the room. Yep. So I need you guys, as soon as the stun is over... Yeah, I actually need you guys over here to fight this thing. Ideally. Yeah, that hit the piloting, but we do still have... Yes, because even while he's repair while he's repairing, he loses his plus 10 piloting bonus. But it, it, it just having him in the room means it's not on autopilot. Even though that doesn't... I mean, it doesn't totally make sense, but... It, it, you know, it's good enough. Okay, so that's that offline. FTL charging, that's not ideal. Mind control's gonna be offline for a while. Trying our hardest to dodge this. Yeah, I think we're going to breach the piloting so they can't get out. Cloaking doesn't come online. For I think we miss I think it yeah, I think we dodged it anyways. There's not really too much of a point to that. Please just kill this. Okay, we got that. Yeah, I'll take the five fuel. Even though I do have a pretty decent amount of fuel. Let's open that up. Let's get you out of here. You get back into the med bay. Thank you very much. And you start repairing. Oh, the med bay has got ion. Very nice. Alright, so who needs healing? You need healing. You need healing. You are good. Get you out of there. And they blew up. Bye-bye. Do I get extra free reward? No, un unfortunately. I just get the satisfaction of knowing they're dead. Which, to be fair, that can be its own reward. So yeah, we're gonna go here, Astrid Field. Then we could go, like, to the store, back here, and then dive again. Which, once again, with our defenses being as good as they are, and having cloaking, that's really not a bad option. Oh, I really wish I had that active before we got here. Unfortunate. Do dodge that, okay. Mind control's actually useless here, so might as well take that out. I think we want... Hmm. I'm gonna cloak here. We need the asteroids to take off one shield layer to make this more practical. Which they really don't seem interested in doing. Alright, well at this point I might as well just fire the breach missile, come on. Okay, that's a weapon offline. Good, good. We're just barely holding on here. And we dodge. We've got two shield layers. Good. Fire the heavy laser. Fire that. And right, you repair. We want we actually this is one of the rare cases where actually having the shield officer is really useful. Because of the com constant bombardment of drone plus asteroids. Because normally the, the bonus you get from having someone operate shields is kind of not useful in most situations. Okay, what else? You. And you. Oh, it is you. Okay. You also need healing. Sitting on 98 scrap. That's a decent amount. Everybody back to your stations. And we jump. Ooh. No, but then I would have to dive twice. But, even if I am diving twice, you don't get the anti-ship batteries here. And you know what, let's not. Let's not. Let's just let's not go too crazy with it. Okay. Okay. Scrap recovery arm. Even at this stage, it's still pretty good. Assuming you don't die in the short term. And I can grab... I guess I'll miss out on hacking, but I can still grab backup battery. Those are, in fact, pretty good. Although I don't really need the extra power from backup battery right now. And in the short term, it'd be better to put that scrap to something else. 
like this. I've actually gained a couple of missiles over the last few battles. So that's nice. Fuel has barely even gone down. Do, do earn a decent amount. Hmm. I think in the short term I'd be better off getting that extra shield point, but in the long term, I don't know if I'll have an opportunity to grab this again. And if I do get that opportunity, it might be much later. So I think I'll grab the backup battery and then get some repairs. Yeah, there we go. That looks good. Alright, now we do this. So it's automatically powered down our shields, which is not ideal. I think other than that, yeah, this is kind of where we want to be. I'll use the backup battery when I need. You know, I'll just use it now. Get like oxygen. And while I'm at it, cloaking. Yeah, they definitely have more shield layers than what's available here. It's just that they're underpowered right now because they don't have... Well, they don't have enough power. Really? Oh, so this is useless then. Okay. I did not know that. You actually need to be able to see. I did, I, as a matter of fact, I am just discovering this now. That evasion is annoying. But yeah, their weapons package is not super scary right now. Although it will get scarier, yeah, once the shields are offline, then they're going to have spare power to put into that. So we did turn off theirs. That's nice. Backup battery turned off, so now our oxygen is going to start draining. But at this point, does that really matter? I don't think it does. I think we're good. Four fuel? Nah. I've got plenty of fuel. Give me more scrap. That's what I want to see. Let's get the oxygen back online. And then we're going to get out of here. can in fact get another upgrade. Well, I don't think power is a priority right now. Doors is probably good. Yeah. I think our next priority is going to be shields and then engines. That's what we're looking at. Yeah, upgrading mind control does not increase the duration. Instead, it boosts the stats of the guy you're mind controlling. So there's not really any point to upgrading this. Like, yeah, you'll do more damage. That's cool. But really I'm doing it to negate their evasion and just the baseline effect is fine for that. All right, let's get out of here. Let's skedaddle. Let's just max that out. All right, now, yeah, the sensors are back online. And probably... I wonder. Oh, is it only one of you got mind control? I thought two of you were mind controlled. What's going on here? Oh, and they actually managed to destroy the oxygen really quickly. And the and that the ship battery apparently has a shorter cooldown in later sector. That's interesting. Well, let's just get out of here. Mantis Homeworld's awesome. The, I mean, it's it doesn't really... I don't have any strong feelings about it. I don't think we're particularly weak to... I, we did just upgrade the doors, actually, so... If anything, yeah, it's not bad. are going to need that oxygen back online, actually. Let's just do that first. Let's do that real quick. 
so we don't die. Excellent. Okay. So we can send you back home, and we can just heal you guys up. Get the mind control back online. Did take a bit of damage there, a bit more than I'd like. So, getting... yeah. I think it's good to prioritize shields next, then more engines. Weapon, pa weapon package is doing okay. If I see a good opportunity to upgrade the weapons package, then I'll take it for sure. But I'm not making it a priority. I'm not saving up scrap and hunting down for a shop. Oh, I don't like this. Because if I dock, I know I'm going to... It's going to do the thing where I take hull damage, isn't it? And I don't think it's going to be worth it. Right now it's too risky. And sending in crew can cause someone to die. I do have a lot of crew, to be fair. But if it ends up being the pilot or the engines guy, the hit to evasion is going to suck. Although, you can farm it up pretty quickly once you have a decent amount already. It could be. It could also be the Zoltan, though, which would suck. It's a, all of it's a gamble. And the rewards are not great. Even with a scrap recovery arm. I think I'm going to pass this one up. That's unfortunate. Yeah, we can leave you. I'm going to need some repairs. Yep. This is about what you'd expect. So we can do that. And then we can do that. We can put normal power there and put the, the battery power there so that when it runs out and this is still on cooldown, then it won't matter. You know, in theory. Actually, I could hit you guys right now. I should be able to get both of you. No, you just get the one of them. That's right, okay. Yeah, you only grab one person. Right, well. Mm hmm. Yeah, unfortunately, part of the problem with this is even though they're in combat, they're at least keeping the... They are, in fact, keeping the, the uh, piloting bonus online. I could have waited slightly longer to dodge that one, too. Shame. Yeah, without... Uh... Oh, nobody's piloting right now. Which means that this breach missile should, or breach bomb should just hit. I'll get you to the med bay immediately because you might die if we get hit. Yeah, that's a guaranteed hit there. All right, and the med bay's down. They just sent the NG over. You are screwed. I'm killing the crew. Let's go. That was a nice maneuver. Yeah, so it's just you, my friend. Send everyone. Kill him as fast as possible, hopefully before... It... No, it's already off cooldown. So he's going to try and run. Yeah. He is, in fact, going to try and run. And then he's going to realize, I'm screwed. Really? You, you still got through. Son of a... I probably could have managed that a little bit better to avoid taking any hull damage here. But overall, that was okay. No, do oxygen first. Does anybody else need healing? Yes. Get over there. Alright. Sitting on 80 scrap. Once again, we're in a situation where we really just need to he uh, repair the ship before we die. But otherwise, I think this... This run's looking pretty good. Yeah, uh-huh. Mantis homeworlds are going to have not that many shops. Which is unfortunate. But being more focused on boarding rather than weapons should make it, hopefully, that we take less damage. You know, if we're being optimistic here.
Yeah, I think that's what I want to do. I'll just grab that now. And then here I can grab... I should be able to get enough scrap from whatever this is, yeah, that I can get that next upgrade, get up to three shield layers. That'll be great. Okay. Target their shields. They got a lot of stuff. Oh, they... Thank you. I appreciate that. Actually, I could drop a bomb on my own ship, as long as there's no system there, just to kill them if that's... Sometimes that's reasonable. Actually, hold on. Mind control. And we still miss that third shot, of course. Yeah, let's send you. Gotta keep an eye on those missile type weapons. Okay, so you can get you out of there, get you back in. Okay. Where's the bomb? It's in an empty room. Excellent. Still missed. Not quite what I was planning. Alright, let's get that backup battery. Okay. Alright. I think we're looking good. Alright, the NG's dead. Well-placed bomb here could take out some remaining crew. Uh-huh. He's at one. You're gonna be dead in a second. Oh, crap. That is opened. Right. And now the auction's offline, so I need you out of there. Let's get you over here. Did it just ion bomb my backup battery? An interesting choice. Yeah, now we're at the stage of the game where the enemy ships actually have enough health that this might be doable. And of course, I forget that they have a cloning bay. Actually, I didn't even notice that in the first place, to be honest. Ooh. I mean, mind control's not exactly super helpful here. The ship is, in fact, on fire. Huh. How do I do this without taking any damage? That's what I want to do. I think the best thing to do would be to hit that. I'm trying to let the fire do some more damage here. Really? You're targeting my oxygen again? Alright. And then throwing a bomb? Ah, I didn't quite time it right. Damn. Oh, you're dying. Don't do that. I'd prefer it if you didn't do that. Man, this is going to be close. If I can actually get him before... No, I should be able to hit him with a breach. Or... No, a, a dual laser. Should, the first shot should finish him off. And of course it doesn't matter. <sighs> Sucks to suck, I guess. But yeah, it does... You do need to have the crew dead for like a second before it counts. So for that reason, that actually didn't work. All right. Well, it is what it is. Get this, unless shop? No. And now we can actually put the backup battery into the engines instead. Wait for them to get their first volley off. Activate the battery. Get more evasion. It seems like a plan. Yeah, next is going to be... Upgrading our reactor, upgrading engines. They'd probably get these less important systems a little more durability. Actually, probably weapons first. Just to give them some... Even if it's not actually using the extra power, just having the extra system levels gives you a bit of protection for your existing weapons. Okay. Yeah, we're looking pretty good. 
Yeah, I'm gonna go this way. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing a lot of, like, basic lasers. But nothing too scary as is. I'm not gonna char- oh, they do have pretty synchronized cooldown though. That is a bit of a concern. Alright, now we do this. Wait for the cloaking to end. And then I'm gonna activate the backup battery. Okay. Hit the shields, activate this. Alright, we even stunned the drone. Excellent. It looks like they're gonna kill their own guy, too. That's what we like to see. Let's get all these weapons are coming back at about the same time. But we've got decent evasion and three layers of shields. So that ain't happening. Not even close. Okay, turn off their evasion completely. Okay, I think we're in a good spot. Yeah, I don't think your FTL is going anywhere. No, I'm not going to accept surrender. Give me a better offer, and I'll consider it. Let's see, how is their crew doing? Actually, a, cr a breach missile would, a breach bomb would just like kill these guys. He's attacking there. But then the problem is I'd need to like breach him twice to kill them. So that's really not great. Yeah, I don't think that's worth all those missiles. Okay. Engine upgrade. Oh, and there was a store right there. So, well, mm, should have checked first. Oh, well. It is what it is. Near a sun. Yeah, I think I'd rather go here, get some scrap, then come down to the store, get some repairs. Because we should be able to live a fight, as long as that missile doesn't demolish me. It's got defense... Oh, oh it's the overshield drone, that's what that is. That's probably going to be a minor issue. Yeah, the two heavy lasers are not an issue as long as their shields hold. Speaking of, don't actually need that third layer here. Well, first, actually, I want to do this, then fire off the breach missile. Dodge that. Okay. Looking good. Let's see. This is taking 100% of my brain power. Is it actually... Oh, you. Of course you. Of course you would do that. And then I would miss. Of course. There we go. That's a good shot. Get a little more evasive. If we can. No, come on. That's just pain. We'll take that out. Actually, we've got. Yeah, we've got that. Cloaking. Okay. Take as long as we can to try and charge up that breach. So oh, that's right. Super shields block mind control. And it's charging up even more. Oh boy. This thing is actually causing me problems. I thought it would be terrible, but no. This is 
This is actually annoying. All right. That was good. That was a good volley. I mean, I don't actually need that extra power for anything. It's not really much of a point to that. If I can disable that, it's not... Yeah, and it didn't disable it. Unfortunate. But it is coming off cooldown right as the cloaking is as well. Nah. I'm going to just kill you. I don't think you're going to be running away, even though you're trying to. And there's fires everywhere. Everyone's panicking. This is what we like to see. We like to see ships burn. Attack ships on fire over the shoulder of Orion. Honestly, not that much more scrap, but I'll take it. Okay. I'm basically just going to spend all this on repairs. That would be the responsible thing to do. And then we're going to dive into his sun. Awesome. Repair arm, kind of interesting, but small bomb's also pretty decent. I don't think I'm going to be... I mean, ideally what you would do is grab, like, glaive beam instead of heavy laser, because that would be quite the damage dealer. You use breach missiles to take out their shields, you get dual lasers to help, and then you just fire off a big old glaive beam. But I think we're good. I think what I'm going to do is just do what I said. I'm going to repair. There we go. Not quite on the verge of death anymore. A little more breathing room. Uh-huh. Yup. That sure is a weapons loadout. Yeah, once I've got three shield layers, I'm very reliant on the missile here. Alright, let's get you over here, actually. Just make sure that transfers correctly. Okay. We're going to start with this. Got a lot of abilities, a lot of cooldowns to manage here. Actually, I don't think I need that. I don't need that extra shield there right now, so we'll go with that. Okay. Start with the mind control. Breach. Yeah, unfortunately, they're going to get to the engine room faster in the current state. Just before they fire, I can get the extra... I mean, they are killing each other pretty effectively. That's nice. We get more evasion just before that stuff hits. Okay, the f so if they put it in the perfect spot for me. Evasion is now offline, but we did actually manage to dodge before it turned offline, so that's nice. You're dead. Shields are kind of screwed. I want to hurt their weapons even more. Okay. This is looking pretty good. And now they sh If we hit, they would be dead. Oh, well that worked. I was kind of hoping the, uh, the missile would do that. Yeah, now we're going to start running out of missiles as we become more reliant on them. So we do have to be manage uh, mindful of that, because if we run out, we're kind of screwed. Most enemies are going to have at least three shield layers at this point. Okay, upgraded the reactor. Nice. Nice. It's 30 scrap worth of an upgrade. Yeah, I think I want to save up more for more engine upgrades instead of going for the that, because I can pull out oxygen and activate this to get more engine boost. Right, you gotta think like that, right? You don't want to be just upgrading your reactor. You want to be pulling power out of other things that aren't being used. I mean, after all, who says we need to breathe? It's all about your mindset. Oxygen is for weaklings. Alright, I think you guys are going to need to get over here. This is, uh, this sucks, actually. Uh, your talents are going to be put better use there. Once again, not much in the way of anti-shield stuff, so... Yeah, it's just the stunner. 
Yeah, okay. Well, we can do that then. Go down to one layer. Alright, and that does mean we can have the... We get the pleasure of having the medbay on constantly. Alright, we want to dodge that. I hit you, and then the... He's going to run over to fight you. But before that, the bomb should hit. While the evasion is inactive. Awesome. Oh, he's going straight for the shields. Interesting. And we got the stun, and we got a double breach. And they're going to kill each other. Because they just got back. Oh, that's awesome. They just got back from the boarding action, so now they're actually going to die trying to... I don't know, the... He, he, they're they're going to smart enough to use their, their med bay, of course. Not if it's offline. <sighs> that was a good hit. And, of course, I forgot that that's a thing that I have to worry about. Right. Um, and, of course, he ran out just before I did this. Now, luckily, the, the missile did hit the shields, which are not really doing anything right now. Well, with the med bay now breached, his chances of repairing are zero. It's just over. There we go. It's another... It's another ship kill. Another crew kill, rather. That's fun. That's exciting. Killing the crew. I mean, there's, a, there's even a weapon that's supposed to do that. The anti-bio beam. Which is fun in theory, but I think this is actually being more effective than if I was running an anti-bio beam. I say as if I have the choice of just picking one up, but of course, you don't. Unless you start with the slug cruiser, but that's, uh... That, that one's okay. It's not great. I think we... We might make it, we'll see. We might make it first. I should have picked up the upgrade first. Before jumping. Uh, no. I can't afford to sell those. Yeah, there we go. And you want to start with your points in shields, because that way they start out charged, whereas if you start with them in engines and then try to move them over to shields, uh, then they, you have to wait for them to charge up, which could be a problem, depending on the situation. Yeah, this looks good. Next two upgrades are going to be to power, and then I'll get engines again, and that will be very lovely. Yeah, it looks like I'm going to make it. Nice. You want me to attempt to remain concealed? Nah, we're just going to fight them. Yeah, that weapons package can't actually hurt us. The double heavy laser, and then the mini beam gets blocked by shields. Okay, so engines aren't actually important because dodging doesn't even matter. What does matter is fighting these borders. Alright, so they're over there. I guess we just dogpile them. They're in the med bay. Yeah, that's gonna be... That, they're just making it easy for me. Now hopefully I can aim for a crew kill here. They've even got weaker shields, so there's a chance. But unfortunately... Unfortunately, they did still manage to dodge one shot. Looks like the breach just missed. That sucks. Yeah, they're gonna go back over and heal. Okay, this is gonna be... We're gonna start with the breach here. Actually, cloaking doesn't matter because... It doesn't really matter because they can't hurt us. And the breach missed again. Might as well take our chance here. Oh, we actually got through. Nice. Alright, they're going to make it less convenient for us, because this time they're not attacking the med bay. Right, hold on. Let's uh, swap your positions. There we go. Alright. Target you down again. Mind control you. Don't actually care about that. 
you'll target the med bay. Now I'll have you guys swap positions again because you're running out of HP. Two for one, not bad. You're still attacking the piloting. I think we can kill both of you. Nope, just one of you, okay. Make sure that doesn't come back online. Yeah, you're going to try and repair it. Oh, you're even at 100% HP. Okay. All right, so you... Come on. There's no way. That's just... Yeah, because now I, I, now I would have to use... Yeah, that's a waste. What a waste of missiles. Really? Okay, that's... That's just annoying. Just die already. Damn. Be gone from my sight. You know, I'm starting to get a little desperate for missiles, actually. Only got five. Hmm. Well, we will see. We'll see if we make it. Oh, I should have healed everybody first. Oops. Okay. Alter the announcer's opinions. Interesting. And that opens up a store? Okay. That's pretty cool. Yeah, these would be nice. Well, flak power. Yeah, this is basically... I think these can be shot down by defense drones, but it is two power on a 10 second charge and you get three shots. Flak are really good. So maybe I could sell the heavy laser and get flak instead. It would make me a lot less reliant on the breach bomb. That being said, I do like the heavy laser quite a bit. It hits hard, causes breaches. But then again, the breach bomb also causes breaches. I can I actually afford it? 25, that'd be... Yeah, I could just barely afford that. I wouldn't have the power for it, though. So, in the sh so... And then I would have to find some way to earn enough scrap to do that. I think I've just got to go with missiles. Yeah, I'll, I'll purchase missiles and then some repairs. I think that's the best I can do. Yeah, okay. Luckily, we did not get punished for, for getting to heal everybody. Fortune was on our side, at least for that bit. Alright, let's get you guys. Then we're on to the next sector. Abandoned sector or Zoltan controlled? Well, we don't have any scrap. I think I'm going to go to the abandoned sector. With the new race that's in the advanced content... I say new. Advanced content's been out for a while, but you know what I mean. Or do you? I can't know that. I'm making an assertion without any information on whether or not you do know what I mean. Yeah, an unusual alien race is reportedly scavenging in the area. You'd best be on guard. Oh. Well. I guess we're going to do it this way, then. Luckily, S.H.I.E.L.D. has a lot of hit points, so they're not going to kill it before they start fleeing. Yeah. Yeah, that was not the... Um, these kinds of events are... I don't know. It's just they, they board you, and then they... You either get screwed because you weren't completely unready for it, or you just uh, destroy them. There's not really much in between. It's very all or nothing in terms of outcomes. And it's usually all and not nothing. Yeah, so that was, uh, that was a nothing. And of course, of course, a store when I absolutely don't have the scrap to do anything naturally. Yeah, and now we could get Alanius named Alana. Incredible. 
That's some good piloting. I've already got a good pilot. But that is nice. Distraction buoys are pretty good. Well, this late, though, they're not great. Yeah, I don't think I need any of those. Not that I could afford them. Yeah, I'm, I'm just window shopping. I, I, I can't buy any of this. What am I doing? Right, let's get out of here. Let's go through the fire and the flames. Or is this a pulsar? This is a pulsar. No, this is allies. On the planet is targeting you. I did not think that's what the hazard... There was a hazard signal on this beacon, and I did not think that's what it meant. Okay, they launched a hacking drone. Let's uh, see what that does. Engines. Engines. I, I actually kind of want those. Being able to dodge at least one of these shots from this thing would be a big difference. But having three shield layers is pretty good with all those beams. It's targeting your enemies, but it looks a lot like it's shooting close to me. I don't know if that's just the uh, the visuals, but it, it looks a lot like it's... Okay. Uh-huh. ASB target locked. It's gonna hit them, right? Right? It missed. I see. Isn't that so exciting? Who leveled up? Was it you? Weapons? Alright, that's good. Now, what about shield? How are you doing? Oh, you've got one. Okay. You've even got a decent amount of repairs, too. Ain't that lovely. Okay. Yeah, now their weapons are basically harmless. Yeah, this is... I don't know why they, they've given me allies here when this is not like a super difficult fight. Yeah, why don't you start killing each other? Or not. Oh, well, they're... Okay. The uh, anti-ship battery just to finish them off for me. I see. Well, that's a cool event. It didn't do too much for me, but that's cool. I haven't seen that one before. Uh-huh. This is very non-threatening. Because I have cloaking. The, the cooldown, it's going to... Like, the number of times it needs to charge this up in order to actually get the shield slow enough that the halberd beam will hit. With that long of a cooldown... Yeah, if you're just going to fire it on cooldown, too, it's just useless. Wow. Okay. Lucky me. Man, all right. That's unfortunate. All right, now they're going to try charging it up. Well, you should have done you should have thought of that earlier. Okay. Well, we did at least hit it. There we go. Ain't that. Well, we'll just dodge those. Awesome. That's a good hit. That's a good hit. Yeah, we've got only a little bit of HP on U2. Might be possible to uh, go for a crew kill here. Yeah, they're all really low. Right, he's going to die to the uh, to the lack of auction because he got stunned. You're going to die to him. And if I split them like that, you survive, of course. And I take one point of damage in turn. Because I forgot that I need to use cloaking here. Didn't actually notice that you charged up that many shots. But overall, one point of damage in exchange for that. Pretty good. Doubt I'm... I, Doubt I'm going to be using the fire beam, although that could be an interesting alternative to the heavy laser. Perfect accuracy, start up a bunch of fires. Long cooldown, though. 
Like, if I was going to use a beam, I would want to stick to the mini beam. Only one power and the, the cooldown being what it is. Yeah, I think I'll hit that distress and then go to that store. See what's up. Actually, I, I should probably go here first. Yeah, there's not the the beacons are not convenient. The, the the way they're arranged is pretty inconvenient. Mm-hmm. ASB warning shots. I see. Well, that's not very useful to me. Yeah, of course we're gonna help. They love their hacking, too. That's interesting. Guess we're gonna do this. Yeah, let's open up with a cloaking. We do, we do a little cloaking. And then we use a little mind control to do a little trolling. Sensors are offline. Awesome. I don't... Does that mean I can't... Yeah, and now I can't even use that. Okay. Well, that is super cool. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much. I can't believe it, but the, the hacking targeting sensors actually matters here. And I end up hitting anyways, so I'm just complaining over nothing. That's kind of funny, actually. The times where I use mind control, I, I end up missing anyways, but then the, the time where it gets disabled like this, that's just, that's something special, really. Yup. And they only have one tier of piloting, so that just gets disabled instantly. Awesome. Alright, let's just do that. I do have... Okay, we can turn that off. Get that back. And then immediately lose it. I think we can kill him. So the breach does 55. Yeah, I think we just do this. And then dual lasers. Yeah. I think that's worth one missile. Yeah, and of course they've left. Slugs and gr gratitude are not exactly... Uh, th those concepts don't usually go together. Yeah, let's go here first. Might as well. We've got a decent chunk of scrap. Let's see what you've got. Burst laser three? I mean, those are okay. Cooldown is just so long. Yeah, not really needing any of those. These are okay, but really what I'm looking for is the ability to cram more power into a smaller area. Hacking seems like a pretty good choice here. Or drone control. Yeah, if we can get the enemy shields online, offline, which we seem to be pretty good at, then a drone can do some pretty good damage. I think that's worth it. I think that's worth it. Final system slots. It's a choice between drones and hacking. Yeah, I think I'll I think I'll just go with the regular drones. Hacking can be stopped by defense drones, whereas a, this would have to be stopped by a specific anti-combat drone. And I'm not that desperate for the capabilities that hacking provides, even though they are very, very nice. Uh, I guess I should buy more missiles. It's a lot of scrap to be throwing down the drain, but it is something we need. Although not as badly now that we've got drones. And we have a lot of drone parts, so I can use this quite liberally. Yeah, we're in Sector 6 too. We made it further than yesterday with a more reliable ship. Because I, th I think the Red Tail is more reliable at getting... I think that's true, although I've heard that some people, s some people swear by the Stealth Cruiser. 
and it is pretty good. So maybe I feel like the red tail is more reliable, but that might not be true. Well, the first run did die in like the second sector, so you know there is that to go by, just as much as this run. Okay. Do I want to dump that into repairs? I mean, I'm only missing five, so I don't, nah. I need to save scrap so I can get more reactor power. We're not exactly in any danger soon. Okay, we're getting an immediate cloak. Cloaking right away. All right. Yeah, we're just gonna dodge that with cloaking of our own. Oh wait, that's that's a foolish idea. There's no point to that. They are, in fact, the Lanius. This is a Lanius moment. Okay, so the burst has started, which means we can cloak now. So what we want to do is actually close all these doors instead of being instead of being a fool. Let's be not a fool. Okay. Let's just move a little forward. A little forward in time. Oxygen, you can turn that off. Uh, combat drone's not going to do too much at this moment. Actually, yeah, for that reason, we should probably just have the oxygen on anyways. Let's get you in there, and let's... Yeah, we have to fight them while also losing HP to Oxygen. This is not ideal. Yeah, let's try... No, I want to use regular power for the shields. Thank you very much. Okay. Let's move forward very slowly and carefully. Speaking of slowly and carefully, let's get you out of there. Let's actually get all of you out of there. Yeah, now they're going for the doors. That's actually fine. It means that they're not attacking the cloaking. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I want to put this into mind control. Hit there. Fire up the breach. Okay, good. Here it comes. Uh, is there any way I can squeeze out? Yeah, I can actually. I can squeeze out a little more power by dropping that shield layer. Yeah, it didn't matter. It probably already determined. Probably don't need that active right now, so we can do this. Yeah, they're going to turn off my door control, so that's going to be a pain. We'll get you guys over there and it's... Oh, you better get out of there. You guys are such a pain, you know that. You know that, right? Alright, when he fires that burst, we can cloak through it. Okay. Turn on oxygen again. Excellent. We're cutting it close here. A little, a little too close for comfort. It looks like we've killed all their crew. They don't have a clone bay. So the guys on board this, our ship, are actually the only ones left. Okay, we want that online. Alright, don't let them break that. That's, that would suck. We'll turn off the teleporter. Nobody's going to be there to repair it. Oh, that's... Oh wait, no, they're just trying to surrender, that's right. It's just This is just a normal surrender. And of course they get away. You... They get away right at the timing. Oh wait, yeah, try not to die please, thank you. Would appreciate it. Uh, 
Man, I was about to... I was about... I, I just hit the, the teleporter, but it's apparently rank 3 because it survived. And that means that now I've got to use a bunch of missiles if I want to kill the crew. You know, missiles which are in short supply. You, you've ruined everything. You guys are the worst. Actually, hold on. If I can get you to kill each other... I have a lot of questions about your priorities here, my friend. Yeah, no, the, the, the mind control here is not a get-out-of-jail-free. What? Oh, the mind control ended, that's why I can't see inside anymore. I was pretty confused for a second there. Yeah, no, just die. Just die. Be gone. Be gone from my sight. You vile foes. get more power. I think we're going to need that. Yeah, we're at 40%. We can pull power from other areas. Get up to 51%. That's slightly better than a coin flip. For every attack. Combine that with three layers of shielding. Defensively looking pretty solid. Offensively looking good enough. As a matter of fact, instead of using this breach, I can just start using this. Let's put that power there. Okay. Especially if I mind control right before firing the dual lasers, then this should have a pretty decent chance. Yeah, there we go. That's good. Alright, incoming missile. We'll dodge that. Oh, and then there's going to be that. Wait, if I can fire this? Nope, it's still coming. Looks like they've got... Oh, and now they're switching just before it, con just before it fires. They're switching. That was a foolish decision. That's a lot of fuel. That's a lot of missiles. We'll take that. Okay. Okay. 15 missiles, 25 drone parts. With the breach, the combat drone. I think this is good. This is looking real good. I like this. Uh huh. Really? That's unfortunate. That could have been an interesting trade to see if we get a cool augmentation. We've got one slot left over. Unfortunate. Uh, either go here, then come back, and then have to dive the exit, or just go straight to the exit. I think I'm going to go straight to the exit. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling exit mode. I think I'm going to get the next engine upgrade, and then after that I'm going to get a little more power. Or I could get a little more power right now. Now, trading in the missiles kind of sucks, but the fuel and the drone parts are not an issue. Yeah, let's take it. And then we can activate the backup battery, put it here. Or maybe put it into the combat drone, depending on the situation. Alright, next sector. Slug Control Nebula. And this is our last chance to earn a bunch of scrap before we get to the final battle. There's even a store right here. Okay, I'll hit these points and come back around. Go to the store, see if there's anything nice. Probably not. We've already got our systems maxed out. We can't fit any more systems into the ship. Because the game already warned us. We've got a decent offensive package. With a breach bomb, combat drone, dual lasers, heavy laser, and mind control. So really, we just need to max out our defenses, getting more engines, more shields, more reactor power. That's what we're looking at right now. That is the way. It's going to cloak immediately. That's an Ion Mark II. So that's going to charge fast, and it's going to be able to cause Ion Cascades by itself. Which sounds scary. 
But with 51% evasion and cloaking, like, it's actually not that scary. Did I just dodge three in a row? That's, uh, four in a row? That is statistically very unlikely. I think that's a one in 16 chance. That's funny. But even if it gets an Iron Cascade going, it's not that scary because I can cloak and the cloaking duration should be long enough that it'll break the ca reset the cascade and then they have to make progress all over again. Okay. Pilot. Excellent. That's good. All right, and we'll take the power out of there. Get a combat drone active. We'll break the chain by dodging. So now we've got our shield layer back. Actually, we'll use the backup power to get a little more oxygen and a little more evasion going. <sighs> That's a lot of misses, unfortunate. Come on, break it, there we go. Yeah, getting that last shield layer is actually less valuable than just getting their evasion at this point. And, of course, it's going to be fixed by... yeah. It's a little annoying. Alright, there we go. Let's see about their cloaking. So they don't have... Four missiles. I'll take that. We take those. That's a good deal. All right. We're looking... That's another store. Okay. Two stores. Don't really need two stores. But sure. And then this is just nothing. Lame. Lame and uncool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't think I actually care about any of this. Wow, that's uh, interesting. Tap their comm frequency. Quest marker. Is anything going to come of that? Probably not. Uh huh. Yep, there's a store. We could get ourselves a slug. We could get ourselves another scrap recovery arm. I think in Sector 7, it's probably fair to say we don't need another scrap recovery arm. I think it's a little late. Although you do get a lot of scrap per battle in the last two sectors. That's kind of true. Honestly, if I can grab this... Although maybe I'd be better off with like a slug. Because that'll fill up my last crew slot. And that means that even if sensors get taken offline, I can uh, mind control doesn't go with it. Because the, just having a slug will let me see their crew. Combat and repair does sound nice, but at the same time, slug being immune to mind control in the piloting slot is pretty useful. But I've already got a guy trained up on piloting. I think I'm going to go with you. Brian. And then we'll grab more missiles. Okay. I guess you'll just hang out in the med bay. I think the music is bugged. Yeah, it sounds like it's 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 bugged and looping like the beginning of the track. That does happen sometimes. I don't know what changed. Maybe I'm just imagining it. No, now it's looping a different part of the track. Yeah, it seems bugged. Now let's get out of here. Instead of dwelling on it. Is it supposed to sound like that? I'm very uncertain. Four shield layers. Lovely. Four shield layers and we have to contend with evasion. Bruh. Seriously? 
I mean, it is blocking those ion shots now, so that's convenient. Yeah, I don't think it's supposed to sound like that. Oh, it doesn't even matter. Wait, so they must have nine... They have nine points in shielding. Because if they had eight, which gives you four shield layers, that would take off two. But it only took off one. So they have nine points in shields. Incredible. All right, I can't even... My control's even useless here anyways. I don't know what I'm doing with that. And we miss. Are they going to repair it before we actually get a chance to do anything? Yeah, this is not ideal. Okay. All right, we have a chance. We missed. Oh shoot, I should have used cloaking. All right, we're gonna use it now anyways. I missed the timing there, that's unfortunate. Okay, at least the missiles are in fact hitting. Even though I'm burning through a decent chunk of them. Okay. Let's go get this online, because we might actually use that. Alright, weapons. We want to turn those off now. Okay. Uh, hmm. Might actually be worth it. Yeah, the, the, the music is definitely bugging out right now. Oh, I was expecting to get ripped off, but no. Reverse Ion Field. It's decent. Do I need to close the game to fix the music? I think I do. Hold on. Let me pause this. Alright. I think that fixed it. Yeah, now the music ain't bugging out. Awesome. Oh, and of course they took out our oxygen and they're gonna cloak. And they've got that magical fire beam combination. Alright, I'm not convinced I actually want to fight these guys. Our auction's only at 70%. They don't have that much hull, though. But without mind control doing much. I guess I'll lob out a breach, and if this hits... Yeah, no, it didn't hit. I guess we're gonna leave. Can I really afford to do that? I think with the oxygen being drained, I think it's a good idea to just get out of here. We can't use mind control because they're slugs. Oxygen's being drained. Actually, now that I think about it, if you're using mind control, you might want to avoid purple sectors, because then you're going to find more slugs, and slugs are just going to be immune to that. I didn't consider that beforehand, but that's worth thinking about. Let's get some more power over here. They're going to try jumping over, of course. Yep. Let's try starving them of oxygen, see how they like that. this. This is the classic combo. We also want to close this so that we don't also starve the oxygen for our guys. We just want to do damage to them, not ourselves. Might as well throw out a combat drone, sure. Toss one out there. See what it do. Get 
Get a little cloaking. Ooh, that was good. That was well timed. Okay. And hopefully we could stop them from breaking our doors. You can see the extra damage he does because of his skill. Nice. Get you over there. Get you over there. Okay. Their weapons haven't been an issue so far. Oh, I say just as we take damage, of course. I spoke it into existence. I shouldn't have I shouldn't have said anything. We leveled up what? Oh, you leveled up repair. Nice. I forgot about that. Don't you need that? You can drop that. Get that back online. Finish them off a little faster. And they're back over here in the horrible spot, of course. Yeah, we're just gonna let you guys uh, die. Hope you like suffocation. Yeah, they, oof, they almost got the oxygen. Not quite, though. Which, if they didn't get the oxygen, they're definitely not getting the piloting before they panic and try to leave. Yeah, you're just gonna die. Rip Bozo. Let's get that repair. On a third store, that's actually kind of a good spot, too. I've got a decent amount of scrap. I could use some repairs. Things are looking pretty good. Things are looking pretty good. Just gotta get these last few upgrades to our defenses and we should be able to take everything on. Take on the world. So I want to be able to hit store, quest, distress, and then get to the exit. Alright. All that's here is... Yeah. I holy Burst laser one, that's just a worse... That's just dual lasers, but worse. Costs extra power, and I think it also has a longer cooldown. Yeah. No reason to get that. Yeah, no, I think our weapons are good. I don't think we actually need anything from you. I'd rather have the what I have already. So we just need repairs and missiles. But I do actually want to upgrade stuff, so I don't want to spend too much. And you, we're, if we do get to the next sector, which we should, then you do get 10 points of repair immediately. So actually, it might be best to just do this. Hmm. Repairs are expensive this far in. Damn. And I'll grab one missile. Alright. That looks pretty good. I don't think I can... Yeah, these, these two are going to get full jumps. And then I've got to go here to get to the exit. So yeah, unfortunately I don't think I can grab that ship at the top corner. Uh-huh. Right. Okay, big missile. And boarding. So we're gonna send... Y no, you can actually head over there. We'll send the, the human who's actually competent at combat. Okay. Yep, we just wait. We've got a human pilot. Makes more sense for us to fight. Hold on, let's get you over there and bring you back over here. Oh, it's not a human, it's a Zoltan, but, you know. 
Same idea. They can't, they're not immune to mind control. That's the important thing. Get you in there. Awesome. Okay. We've got cloaking ready so we can dodge the missile. Things are going well. Unfortunate. I think we're just going to toss that out. Nope, that missed. Unfortunate. Let's get that back online. Turn that off. Get the drone going. Perhaps could have done that sooner. Actually, you need to heal so that you don't just die. Because if stuff happens and you drop dead, that would suck. Okay. Yeah, the cooldown on that missile is long enough. We can dodge it just every time. Nice. I think I actually need to delay that. I need to wait a little bit longer before firing that. Oh, and you actually... Shelton! Cooper? Anyways. They killed the human. That's useful for me. Wait, is it just this guy? Oh, no. That's why it's not over. Right, of course. Secured the loot and is preparing to jump away. Uh, yeah, just let him. Fine. I don't think we're going to score a ship kill here. Alright, we're just going to kill him. Yeah, easy. Easy. Yeah, that last upgrade is pretty pretty big. Um, the choices, the choices. I think I'm going to save up for the shields first. Shields and power, and then we'll get engines. Which we should be able to do all of that. You need to heal, though. Yeah, this is looking pretty good. I like where we are. I mean, the stealth ship, they must think that the stealth ship is powerful because... Oh, the devs must think that because it only has three weapon slots and two drone slots. Whereas most ships would have... A, normally it's either four and two or three and three. So having a short... Having both of them being uh, smaller than normal must mean that they think it's a strong ship. All right. Are we going to go to stress? Then we're going to go. Well, we might be able to actually go there, then there, and then there. Mm hmm. That is not what I need, actually. As a matter of fact. Yeah, I can go here. I can afford to, right? And it was nothing. It was nothing but a waste of fuel. Wow, that's some intense music for a battle that I don't think is going to be that intense. Let's get that online. Yeah, they're not even firing that. I, I could use backup battery to get more evasion when I need it, but I don't. So... Yeah. Yeah, and then of course it's got slugs, so mind control is actually useless here. Get the piloting offline. There we go. All right, now we're looking good. And the piloting is back online because they got two people working on it. But now the shields are offline and the drone is going to go crazy. Yeah. Now we're not going to accept it. Surrender. You're dead. You are so dead. I didn't even need to put points into evasion there and we just dodge all that. Or that last point. All right, easy kill. Okay. That's looking pretty good. That's looking nice. Yeah, now all that's left is 
get that, upgrade these, upgrade that. Maybe upgrade some of our other systems to provide a bit more of a buffer. Like, not like having some points into oxygen, or at least one point, so that you don't need to repair it as soon as it takes damage is nice. But we also want points in our weapons and stuff. And yeah, we're looking good. Let's get out of here. Mm hmm. Yeah, we're gonna attack the pirate, of course. And they've got cloaking. Don't you want? Don't you want love when the big old space rocks got cloaking? Yeah, this should be fine. Uh-huh. Yep. This is going just fine. Okay, let's get the mind control. Got that timing just right. And they resisted the hull damage, but not the system damage is what matters here. Okay, and then we can power that down. Actually, we can power that down. Because the, unlike, well, if you power down a weapon that's charging, it, it, it resets to zero, which sucks. But if you power down a drone, you can just power it on in a second anyways. Miss. Okay. Awesome. Alright, let's put a missile right in there. That's a lot of stuff. We dodged it though, because we're just that good. And then we can dodge that with the cloaking. All right, yeah, this is looking pretty clean. Even with their cloaking, we're killing them pretty nicely. And they even have NG to repair quickly. This is a good, yeah, this, I think that's, I can confidently say this is a pretty solid weapons package then. You're not gonna be repairing that much longer, are ya? It's another one down. I don't see myself getting a crew kill here, though. Six missiles? Sure, let's take that. Last stand. Alright, it is the end game. We are here. Yep. The Rebel flagship is their weakness, for some reason. I mean, this is a Star Wars. It's basically a Star Wars. Just kill the big... You just kill the flagship. And that'll, the, the whole fleet will fall apart. They won't know what to do. Simple as. And that's not exactly what happens in Star Wars, but it's, it's, it's the same concept. You know, you shoot the, the weakness on the Death Star, you, shoot, you kill the Rebel flagship, same idea. I think I'm starting to need more power. I'm starting to crave that power. There we go. Yeah, we could do both of these, but we also want to beeline for the repairs, because they get taken out, they get claimed, then you miss out, and they just give you a bunch of free stuff anyways. It's like, why fight your stuff? Why fight for stuff when you can just get it for free at the repair points? And now we're starting to see level 3 shielding, or level 4 shielding. And that defense drone's not going to do much for you. Boarding drone. That's a pain. Okay. No, that doesn't make sense. Just you. Just you and... E. No, let's close that. Or actually, no, we want that open so that the oxygen that's right. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of stuff on the air end, but it's not too scary. 
It's mostly going to be these boarding drones. It's a pain in the ass. Yeah, they're synchronized, which is pretty good for them, but it also means we can dodge them pretty good. The next one we won't be able to dodge. Wait, does that even matter? I think it only adds up to four. Yeah, that only adds up to four hits against the shield. And then the mini beam would theoretically get through, but we're probably going to dodge some of it anyways. So, like, it would be very unlikely for us to fail at that. See, I really shouldn't actually be worried about cloaking here. Shouldn't be an issue. Okay, that's not quite what I wanted. I fired the dual lasers first, hoping the heavy laser would get through, and instead it did it the other way around for some reason. Not exactly sure how that's supposed to work, but it, that is what happened. Yeah, as long as we dodge one of those, we should be fine. Okay. Okay. Now you just need to get out of there so you can make room for them. And Medbay is in fact online. Now you do actually need to repair that breach. Let's close these doors. Well, keep that one open actually. And we'll close that. And make sure we don't lose anybody here. Okay. And we're taking them out here. Okay, get I don't know why that turned off. Probably because the Zolt yeah, the Zoltan move, that's why. And the battery is offline, although I think that's already been offline. Okay, that was scary. And luckily it doesn't actually do damage when it hits, but damn. That's well, not on cooldown, it's powering the drone right now, that's right. Speaking of. And it shuts off right there. Okay. I don't think we took any damage. I think we did that. It took a took a lot of managing. There's a little bit of scary moment at one point, but we are good. Simple as that. Whew. Take a look, take a deep breath. We're close to the finish line. Go here, we go here. We'll try to grab those repair spots, and then we'll try to intercept them. That is going to be exciting. So I can't actually have all of those points like this if I just ignore my weapons. Probably shouldn't ignore my weapons. It's 35 per now. Hmm. I think I'll go for the engines first. Then I'll go for the power. Yeah, we gotta get more scrap. Gotta get those upgrades. Oakley Dokley. What have we here? Pain and suffering. The time is near. Of course. Uh huh. Yep. Gotta let that one go. Uh-oh. That's not ideal. Actually, shielding's not too important here with their, their weapons loadout currently. Let's do this. Yeah, I don't think shielding is super impactful right this second. And miss. Classic. All right, don't die. I need you to not die. Dying right now would be really bad. 
Yeah, that extra shield thing is actually not really doing anything for me, regardless. It kind of doesn't matter. Okay. Okay, I got it. There we go. Shields. There we go. Now we're getting some damage in. Yeah, we're looking good. The bomb, while it can take out systems, and that can be scary, it does no damage to the hull regardless. Assuming it even hits. And we can keep dodging the missile. Oh, okay, that's not good. Hold up. Hello? I clicked on you. You should move. Okay. Let's get... Nobody's actually piloting right now, so we don't need to do that just yet. Let's fire off a breach. Make sure you don't reach piloting. There we go. We miss anyways. Let's fire that into their weapons. Nope. Because this thing is now... Yeah, it's reaching maximum. It's reaching its maximum effectiveness, which is uh, fast enough that it can kind of solo your shields. Okay, let's get you over here. Let's get you over here. Let's get you to repair that. That's a lot of stuff going on. This is quite chaotic. You're not getting those back online. Which is good. Okay. Yep. We'll go slowly. Not overwhelm ourselves here. Yeah, okay. I think we're... We're, we're pretty clear. We might even get the crew. In fact... No, we'll leave that on. We'll dodge... Oh, we don't have any dodge because, uh, well, 60%. Okay. So, no, the, the, the piloting's going to get break and that's going to kill them. So I'm not actually going to get a chance to kill the crew, unfortunate. I guess we're just going to heal. We're going to heal while we watch them burn. Wait for it. Whenever this damage... Yeah, there. There it is. 57, which then gets boosted to 62. Very nice. Uh, yeah, let's give you some of that XP. Get you out of there. Don't let me... There we go. It's a little hard to click on him while he's moving. Just need to heal you now, and then we can move on. Speaking of... There's not like a shop next to me, is there? No. Yeah, so I can go down here and then pick up these repairs. Max that out. Excellent. I'm starting to look... I think we have a shot at this. I think we have a shot. Get it. Yeah. All right, let's take this. Well, that might actually... I think if we take all these, we are, we'll hopefully have enough scrap for basically maxed out defenses. Because we've already got these maxed out, now we just need a bunch more power. And picking up that backup battery, as it turns out, was a good choice. Although it probably would have been available later, considering those shops that I visited and didn't buy anything from, but... Oh well. So I really just need to use cloaking to dodge this missile when I get the opportunity. They love boarding, don't they? Yes, they do. Of course they do. I'm actually going to let them through the door because then I get to attack them first as they come in. As opposed to the other way around. We'll dodge that. Pilot mind control, breach. Missed anyways. We'll activate the drone. 
If I had that active first, it probably would have gotten a shot in there. So maybe I could have thought of that beforehand. Take out oxygen, go for med medicine. Go down a shield layer, get more evasion. Yes. Okay. Try and get... I was hoping to get their weapons, but no. No dice. You can dodge that. Okay. Okay, and evasion is now offline. So now they're they're screwed. And another dodge, perfect. Okay, and we can just send everyone home. Get the oxygen back on. This is over. Minimal damage even. Five missiles is pretty good. But we should get be getting a bunch of missiles at the repair points anyways. I'd rather just get more scrap. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, free repairs, bunch of free stuff. Oh, and of course, of course, I get here in time. And then this one gets captured anyways. That is just... That is, un, that is unfair. Yeah, we're gonna fight the rebel ship, of course. Although it would be nice to have that power upgrade that I was talking about, then didn't end up doing. I'll do that as soon as this is over. Seeing some big bursts, but that could be dodged with cloaking. The main issue is going to be... They're going to hack oxygen. Okay, I think that's manageable. Wow, that is going down fast. Um, okay. Okay, it didn't last that long. All right, never mind. I was scared there. I was like, oh my god, I think we're screwed. We're not screwed. It, it did not last as long as I thought it was going to. Okay, breathe easy. Let's get the drone active. Oh no, they've got an anti-combat drone. Never mind. That's pointless. Let's get more engine power. All right, looks like we stunned you. That's cool. We've got a breach going. That's cool. Okay. Yeah, we're looking pretty good. Just need to take out piloting now. We can dodge this burst as it comes in. Let's take out the drones. Dodge that. Easy. Easy mode. Ooh, and it's on fire too. That's perfect. Yeah, I don't think they're too much of a threat to us anymore. Actually, I don't think they ever were. I think that the oxygen was scary at the beginning, but they're not really a threat. How much effort do I want to dedicate to trying and killing the crew? They're all pretty low, and this, this is offline. And I do have mind control. Oh, please. Oh, yes, that's a double kill. Let's go. And we dodged most of those shots anyways, even without using cloaking. Yes. Okay, that actually worked. I did it. That's a lot of scrap. Let's just max out the power. I've got an abundance of power I don't even need. Yeah, I don't even need the uh, backup vet generator now. I probably should. I probably overdid that a little bit, but I'm fine with it. So now my next upgrades, I could just upgrade a bunch of random stuff. And then if I need to activate, like, the med bay, instead of pulling power out from somewhere else, I'll activate the backup battery. That sort of thing. Any flagship jump? Yeah. I know. I'll be there in time. It's not going to get to destroy it. Yeah, we'll fight the rebel ship. 
So we'll just have that active from the beginning. And we can dodge that with cloaking. It's all coming together, baby. All right, mind control, shields. Gonna wait for the drone to be... There we go, synchronize those hits, there we go. Plan that out. Are you planning to get out of here? It doesn't seem like it. Somebody leveled up too. Must have been the shield guy. Yeah, you're not getting anywhere, kiddos. Level 3 med bay, interesting. Yeah, no, you guys are done. It's Jover. Kablooey. Alright, what do I want to upgrade first? Cloaking might be a good choice. Because I could actually use that. So what I can do... Is I can put the power into the combat drone. Then I can activate the backup battery, put that into cloaking. Because this is temporary power anyway, so having it locked up in cloaking ain't that bad. Yeah, it turns until base is destroyed. Three. I could go... No, that's being taken over by the rebels anyways. I could go here first. Especially since the Re especially since the flagship will probably jump here and then claim this point. Yeah, I'll go here first. Seems like the wise decision. Equipment for sale. Yeah, but I don't have... Yeah, I'm just going to attack him. Oh, mind control. It's actually... First time seeing that in a long time. Don't think we got mind control much this playthrough. It's nice having NG for this though, because they're not going. That's going to be uh, quite the wet noodle fight. They're not going to hurt each other much. Okay. I'm going to dodge that. Mind control you. Not quite, unfortunate. Yeah, now back to normal. So just heal up, I guess. Miss, of course. I'm just gonna pray that we hit. We don't, unfortunate. Yeah, this might take a while. And they've got... Somebody died, but they've got a cloning bay anyways. Yeah, and so you can go fight him. Uh, unfortunate, didn't quite get the timing right on that one. Yeah, not really doing much with the cloaking right now. It kind of doesn't matter. Swap you guys around. Alright, get the mind control going. Bomb him again. Miss anyways. I hit three in a row, but the drone missed, of course. And they do seem to be having a bit of a hard time on their end. Just not as much of a hard time as I would like. Ah, uh, they're killing their own crew, I see. When, the, when they get mind control, they just straight up kill them and don't even care. And then they're going to come back to cloaking. Or, not cloaking. Clone bay. Starts with the same th three letters. Don't blame me. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. Piloting offline. It was only one point, too. Wow. And now you can't repair it because of mind control. Yes. All right. Now we're getting him. We're not even taking any damage. Look at this. Incredible. Oh, I forgot to heal you. Hold on. Please? Thank you. Yeah, I'd rather not use any more missiles if I can help it. I don't think I need that many for the final boss, but... You know, it's better to have more than less. As you might expect. 
Now let's turn off their weapons so I don't have to think about it too much. Yeah. Now that's not a concern. Uh, no. Let's turn your that back off again, because uh, that's a pain. I think you can counter mind control with your own mind control. Yeah. You can just do that at this point. It's Jover. Boom. Okay. Yeah, I think adding a little buffer to our weapons and a little buffer to our oxygen is good. It also means when we get hit with breach drones, which won't be in the first stage, it'll be in the second stage, then we can put two power into that, and it'll be actually be useful. Here we go. Oh, I forgot to heal some people. I mean, they're at like 90% health anyways. All right, let's send you guys to heal. There we go. Oh, that's right. The first stage has hacking now. Forgot about that part. I forgot it gets that to hacking. It's a new feature and all. Oh, and you can't even get back to your damn room because of that. That's annoying. All right, let's turn that on. Yes, and with the missiles, we want to dodge that. <sighs> okay. I mean, the evasion on this thing isn't great anyways. But it's still worth doing. Really? Alright. The timing there kind of sucked. But you... Back... I was going to say back and shielding so you can do this, but... Yeah, the fact that they target shielding kind of sucks, but I also have maxed out evasion and cloaking. Owie. Well, now the drone's offline. That's annoying. Okay, let's get that again. Uh-huh. There we go. Shields are offline. Which now makes the drone really worth using, but of course can't even reach it because of the, the doors are locked by hacking. Unfortunate. Skill issue, I guess. Dodge those. And they're gonna dodge as well, but they're not dodging anything, so it doesn't matter. Ow. Owie. I prefer if that didn't happen. Okay. Really? Come on. It's the flagship. It can't have that good of a dodge. It's too big. How's it gonna dodge? If it's too big. 50... 45% right, because he's repairing. So I want this back online. There we go. Shields offline. Drone is going. Okay. I think we're closing this one out. Oxygen is offline, though. It's a bit concerning. Alright, and we can do that. Dodge. Okay. Uh-huh. We just need to get one more point of damage there, and it won't be a problem. Okay. First stage is basically over. Just one more point of damage. No more hacking. There we go. Excellent. Yeah, it doesn't give you much of a reward, unfortunately. Let's get a little extra juice into the oxygen system and do this as quick as we can. You guys need to heal. You need to get out of there. You need to heal. Yeah, both of you need to heal. Excellent. Excellent. 
think we're ready. Ready to take it even further beyond. I guess I could get extra power here and a little bit of a buffer. That's nice. Yeah, there's not really anything left to do except wait. Fortunately, we did take a lot of damage there. Yep. Oh, isn't there a shop there? No, because I killed the guy instead of instead of tra taking the chance on that on actually getting a shot. That's right. I for gore. Right. So largely we want to use cloaking to dodge the drone sir. Please. You have to be as painfully annoying as possible at every opportunity. It's my pilot. I need him. Alright, so we should be able to keep the oxygen up in this room with two points in oxygen. We can use cloaking to dodge the drone surge. Does mean we're still concerned about the the rockets, though. We're just going to rely on our evasion. Okay, that's good. Okay, uh, Brian, please don't die. Actually, we'll use this. Oh no, your health is still good, actually. Get that out of here. It's also nice that crew deaths on their end are permanent because they have a med bay. Wait, and there we go. Gotta wait for the last second there. So we need you to repair that. I need you to heal. Damn it. That was a bit too late to stop the, uh, the missiles. Medbay is online, okay. Drone surge now. Ooh. Okay, piloting is in fact online. We're up to 50% evasion. Okay, we got the missiles offline. And we stunned him in the fire, so now he's dying. And we'll mind control you. Okay, four layers of shield plus evasion. Plus the missiles are offline, I think we... Okay, we're good. We're looking pretty good here. Get that offline, kill some more crew. You don't want to kill all of them because then it starts automatically repairing every system. And on hard, the... Uh, well, on the normal difficulties, the missile... Like, the weapon compartments are separated from the rest of the ship, so you just need to kill the crew in there and then they can never repair it. On hard difficulty, it's all connected, so you can't cheese it like that. All right, we've got barely any hull, but we're here. This is it, the final showdown. Yeah, that scrap actually isn't enough to afford anything. I should have taken an opportunity to sell the scrap repair arm in this sector, probably. I don't know, or scrap recovery arm. I think we're doing fine, though. Yeah, nothing left to do but wait. It's time for the last part. I think this this is the part where they send all of their crew over to your ship. They just teleport everybody over. Yeah. And then they also get mind control. Yeah. Speaking of... I think it's actually best to just... Yeah. Just use my mind control to counter theirs. Because they're going to send their pilot over here anyways. They're going to go full sicko mode on me. I can actually auto-fire that stuff. Tone that down and turn that drone on, because I need to get through this. Yeah, not worried about that, but I am worried about that. 
Okay. We're getting there. Undo the mind control. Excellent. Yeah, here comes the power surge. At the same time as the missiles, too. Okay. But, luckily... Okay, if I can get... You two back here. I think you need to go there. Or you might be already going there. And we do have the that one extra point of... Uh, that one extra point of damage absorption there. Is it actually proved to be useful? And we missed the bomb, of course. It's not like it's important or anything. Dodge those missiles. It's getting mind controlled. A pilot. That would be bad. Yeah, so now he's going to go repair that so they're on autopilot, which is pretty not great. I didn't get it in time, unfortunate. Didn't get it at all, unfortunate. Okay, get you. Okay, repair that. You can go back here. We can hit this. There we go. Let's try to get their evasion offline. Yeah, and now the automated systems kick in to repair everything, but that's okay. Power surge is coming, but I've also got cloaking available, and the missiles... I don't need to save it for the missiles, because those are offline, and they ain't coming back. Not with that breach. And that's it. I can even do this just before it ends. Stealth cruiser victory on hard. That's my first time doing that. living geometry. Let's have a look at that score. 5704. It's actually pretty good. Yeah, just barely ekes out the fifth position on the top score. Nice. If you look over here, yeah, living geometry. Very cool. Alright, so that's about it. See ya.